but um, well, sorry, well, we're at Marvel Arch right now, but yeah, we can our way towards Hyde Park. Uh, so jump in when you're ready. Again, uh, yeah, um, it's been a busy week in terms of like live and stuff tonight. I'm gonna be doing a live stream with the brother Rick. Um, it'll probably be after 10 o'clock. Huh? God willing, God willing, it'll probably be after 10 o'clock though at night. So if you're still awake, oh, sorry, no. she's not gonna bite, she's got a muzzle. Okay, um, yeah, but. Yeah, so we're gonna be um, we're gonna be live streaming, God willing, from ten o'clock with the brother Rick from America. Um, yeah, because he had a conversation with um, Sig, which is always interesting. A conversation with Sig. You know, I've had many conversations with Sig. Um, it's just not been filmed. <laughs> uh, but it's always interesting to speak to people like that. But yeah, we're just here amongst the riff rag at Spiegel's Corner. Um, just again. We don't like to come up here, I've said this one times. We don't enjoy coming up here. Um, because it's just not, it's just not probable, it's not feasible. But anyway, I'll get on my Bible in a bit to talk about the word of God and why Jesus is Lord. I was reading today, in fact. And one thing that's mis 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 bleh, not mentioned, my bad, not mentioned by a lot of individuals who are of the um, persuasion that Jesus is not God, is the fact that, you know, Paul identifies Jesus Christ as God in that very same book, you know. And the typical passages you go to is like Titus 2.13, but I want to remind people of just a, pa a few passages before in um, the book of Titus, chapter 1. You know, the apostle Paul literally outlines that, you know, the Lord God is our saviour. And then says Jesus Christ is our saviour. Either he was linguistically wrong, or he meant it, you know. As well, of course, as um, I know a passage that our, you know, Unitarian friends have to deal with and our Islamic friends have to deal with is Acts 20, verses 28 to 30, where literally Paul says of the disciples, says that they're ready to them that the church has been bought with God's blood. You know. I mean, revealed notices or, yeah, I mean, it's attributed by Eusebius and um, Eusebius and, of course, Papius or Papias, as he's called. Early church historians believed and witnessed that, you know, Paul wrote Titus. Or even if it wasn't him, it would have been one of his many known penmen or those who were writing of that time. So there's nothing wrong with that. How are you guys doing, by the way? Um, no, can't do a flip, unfortunately. I'm not that healthy. Uh, I wish I was. Anyway, obviously Amy is uh, busy, so I'm going to be... Uh, she is here, but yeah, she's, uh, she has to carry something else. So I'm just going to carry my Bible. I'm going to read from it. Um, start off with a good scripture, Titus 1 onwards. Titus 1 onwards. Okay. Do you want to walk around or you want us to stay here? It's because I have to hold my Bible. Do you want to hold my bag? Yeah, because it'll be helpful. Don't I have to hold everything? Yeah. All right, so yeah. We're now in the park speaker's corner. I hope everybody's okay. We're going to read from the book of Titus for all our friends who deny the word of truth that is the Bible. Notice the language Paul uses for those of us who are, you know, non-Christian or Unitarians. Unitarians are not Christian, by the way, um, but it came to be. Um, this is Titus chapter one, verse three. But having due times manifested his word through preaching, which is committed unto me, according to the commandment of God our savior. Now, I want you to notice the language used here. I want to repeat again. Un which is committed unto me, according to God, according to the commandment of God our savior. Really listen to that. The commandment of God, our Saviour. I can't bite you, by the way. It's got muzzle. All right, the commandment of God, our Saviour. Now, sing that in your head as you read the very next verse. It says it here. Titus 1, chapter 4. To Titus, my own son, after the common faith, grace and mercy and peace from God, the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, our Saviour. So notice in Titus 1... Verse 3, God is called our Saviour. In Titus 1, verse 4, Jesus Christ is called our Saviour. 
Make that make sense if Jesus Christ is not God according to my Bible. And there's so much for other pastors as well. Um, the cult of Bob is false. I don't care about the cult of Bob. Have you seen our channel? Do you even know who you're speaking to, dude? The cult of Bob. <laughs> oh, wow. You got so Listen, I want you to type into Google, Jono versus Bob the Builder. Type that into Google. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. Just type in. And then I want you to come back to this page and say sorry to me, Sizzlam. Thank you. I'm part of the cult of Jesus Christ, if it is even a cult. It's not a cult. But I follow the Lord Jesus Christ, I don't follow Bob. Bob is a false teacher and a demon. Okay, um, so yeah. Anyway, let's move around. Um, so we've read from the book of Titus that Jesus Christ is God. It's evidently clear in the book of Titus, Jesus Christ is God. I don't know who to approach. I don't know. Okay. Okay. God is faithful and just. How you doing? How you doing, man? Yes, bro. I haven't seen you in a while, bro. How you doing? God bless, man. God bless, man. Yeah. What's this conversation about then, Muslims? Nothing? You're running? You scared? You scared? Okay, then, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. I'll see you later. Bye bye. You know what I mean? They're scared. They're scared. You know what I mean? You can't stop a man from being scared. You know what I mean? If a man wants to be scared, they want to be scared. But the Bible says all cows will have their part in the lake of fire. Yeah, yeah, she did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. The younger son said to the father, Father, Okay. Yeah. Love the stream. Any tips? Somehow to get my dad to stop getting super jealous every time my sister. Well, I would say stop seeing your sister because that's weird. I don't know why you're asking me. <laughs> Probably a troll. Um, again, the Bible makes it very clear that marriage between a man and woman, of course, in the book of Deuteronomy, it will state that you can't sleep with your own sister or your cousin. And if you're doing such things, you're attributing to children coming to the world who are deformed. Uh, my friend, you're not doing anything good. And even if you think you enjoy it, your enjoyment has nothing to do with God's commandment. God's commandment is, and still always will remain, that you cannot sleep with your sister. Now, I would never do that with my sister, I've got a wife. But for you guys, maybe, I don't know. That's a very big nose there. It's getting bigger every time I see you. Good knock you. Fair enough, fair enough. Oh, you got Quran? Yes, it's Rabayat. Rabayat. Yeah, Rabayat. means? No. Quran is not the word of Allah. It means, it's he said, she said, he said, she said. That's the collection of. Uh, you understand? It's just he said, she said. That's, that's, that's what it is. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. So there is no Quran. There is a you man. always ask them here to read this. Yeah. In every book, they will write Rabayat. Rabayat. Yeah. So, yes, my brother. How you doing? How you doing, man? Yes, bro. Yes, bro. Mom, yeah, yes, bro. I'm I'm I've been babysitting my mom all week. Have you? Oh, yes, yeah, yes, 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 She's upset to put a muzzle on her. My dear friend, the words of Jesus are words of life. The words of Jesus are the words of life. No, no, I wouldn't have spoken to that guy. No, but just approach people. No, no, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. But there's the majority of people here want to speak to anyway. Yeah, how are you guys doing anyway? Um... How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? So, I know you said you ran away from a prior conversation with me. No, no, no. So and it was recorded nice, on camera. Nice, so I'm very nice. I love being nice. A man, you're Muslim now. Okay, let me tell you something. You can never be Muslim. As a Jew, you can never, ever, ever be a Muslim. You can claim Shahada all you want. In scripture, you can never be a Muslim. No yeah. matter what you do. Yeah, you yeah. know this. And you're smiling because you know. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So, mother, you say you was a Jew? 
yeah, now he's a Muslim. But I'm trying to say to him, right. as a Jew, as a Hebrew, he could never be Muslim. Ever. Right. Yeah, it yeah, could yeah. never happen. Yeah. No matter how many shahada he takes. So, brother, you I you know, no, no, I haven't. I just give him one point. And you know, it's true. Right? So, yeah. Let's just look around. No, no, I've already spoken to these guys. You're the dog right now, man. You're, you're the dog. I mean, you're frothing at the mouth. Can, can we get that? He's frothing at the mouth. It's weird. Yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, let's look. Let's walk around. Let's walk around. Do you want me to hold it? Yeah. So we'll do some song. Again, a lot of uh, just same old, same old people here. Not anybody new. Uh, what? What guy? He's a Catholic. Is he a Catholic? Right. He is a Catholic. I don't know whether he is or not. I heard no, the other I one was. I don't know, I haven't watched the debate. Yeah, because I don't know who he is. What, do you want me to join there? Well, yeah, see. Because he looks like he's already having a lot of conversation. I don't really want to... Because they're going to be like, oh, you're rude and stuff like that. It's just boring. Do you want me to hold it? Okay. You see Francis there? Did you see? It's a jihadi jihadi device. Yeah, she doesn't bite, though. Uh, no, 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 she doesn't bite. She would bite. She would? Really? She would, yeah, but she doesn't. <laughs> nah, nah, you bite as well. It doesn't look scary. Why is it so tight around him? No, I just bought pitbull, it pitbull. because pitbull. It, otherwise it sure? comes off. Pitbull. Yeah. Uh, no, no, it's no, not pitbull. It's no, no. Bad. So, uh, what is it again? What is it, Stafford? Are you Christian, sir? Okay. Which what, shit? What, what, what is it? What what do you mean? Uh, stuff, 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 stuff. Have stuff, stuff, stuff. Yeah. I don't know. So she asked, what, 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 what denomination are you then? What evangelical, you evangelical. You're evangelical. That's yeah. interesting. Do you affirm the Trinity? Yeah, what, I believe in Trinity. Yeah. Right, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. You <laughs> have to believe. Don't believe in Yeah. Uh, what's your views on like people like Bob, for example? Like who? Bob. What's your views on him? I don't know Bob. I don't know his views. I don't yeah. know what he Bob believes. Yeah, so he believes like prayers to saints, prayers to Mary, oh, no, veneration of no, icons. That's not in the Bible. No. Yeah, yeah, it's not in the Bible. He prays to saints as well, sometimes. Yeah, I mean, if in he does morning, that, he's, morning, he's literally like them, like. I don't, I don't morning, know. Sometimes. I pray to Jesus because that's the only one who can save me. One I, don't, day I pray to no one day to Jesus, Yeah, one day Jesus, one day Yeah, typical Uncle Sam logic, right? Mary, Mary is the most beautiful you. Yeah. Mary is AI Parthenos, that's what they're talking about. Yeah, you're Catholic. <laughs> oh man, Sam, Sam. You pray to Mary, Sam? No, I know, I know Sam doesn't pray to Mary, I know he doesn't. <laughs> but he, he doesn't have any comments. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't you're, talk you're to people in the park. You're part of conspiracy of silence. Are you, are you uh, yeah. recording this? Of course, bro, what do you think this is? Oh, you're right. Okay. Yeah, mate, yeah, we're yeah, live, bro. Don't be shy, Sam, bro. Like, you're shy to talk to Bob over there, don't be shy. I can go out to Bob right now and G-check him. You know what it is? I G-check everybody in the spot. Like I don't care. <laughs> you know what I mean? We G-check. We G-check. I keep telling people, we G-check, bro. How about times we said, we G-check? And you guys all hear it? <coughs> you see, the same energy you have for Muslims, have it for Catholics and Eastern Orthodox. Because I don't see how you can have all this energy for Muslims and not Catholics and Eastern Orthodox. That don't make no sense to me. Do you believe in God, sir? Are you Christian? Yes. What type? You're Orthodox. You want to have a conversation about that? You're smoking. I can't be on camera. You can't be on camera. Why? I have problems on social media. My face gets seen. I'm done. No, we wow. won't okay. show your face. Wow, okay. We won't show your face. Uh, I'll, I'll we won't show your face. Somewhere around here. They won't show your face to me. Otherwise, it looks like it's something in the I promise they won't show you. Yes. You, you want to do this? You want to do this? About what? Just about what you believe? Yeah. If you want to put your hoodie up or but just... He's, he's studied orthodoxy. Yeah, mildly, mildly I'm, I'm studied in orthodoxy. So the thing is, I used to be part of the Eastern Orthodox Church, right? I was a part of the Eastern Orthodox Church for five months. I was never catechized, I was never baptized, but I did enter that church. One of the reasons why I entered that church is because I believed that this church was the true church, the first church, due to her traditions. But then when I looked into her traditions, for example, perpetual virginity of Mary and prayers to saints, I didn't see this for the first 400 years of the church. Now, I've read the church fathers, I've looked into them, and every single church father I've read for the first 500 years 
Clement, Ignatius, Alexandra, uh, sorry, Athanasius of Alexandra, Clement of Rome and Alexandra, etc., etc. They didn't actually believe in prayers to saints as defined by the um, Church of Rome and the Church of the East. So, again, what argument would you make for the idea that we can invoke saints? Um, well, in terms of saints, are you, are you trying to say that Mary is not a saint or are you trying to say that Mary is the saint? Oh, no, I, I've, I've given you Mary is a saint. I said, what's the, what is the um, sort of argument you could make why should we should pray to saints? Why would you... I guess I guess it's more 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 for good doing. Again, I'm not that really educated, so I'm studying as well. So please excuse me if I don't have much. No, no knowledge. problem, no problem, man. So yeah, but I'm not sure about the same whether Mary, the argument whether Mary is the saint or not the saint. But I still cherish her as a good woman and as, and as the mother of Jesus Christ. Mm. That, that's my that's my only say pretty much regarding Mary. Well, I mean, well, for me, like, do you, have you ever prayed to a saint? Like pray to one. Yes, so there's a saint, uh, Kirill Mephodius, so Saint Kirill, which is what I pray for, uh, pray after my name. So yes, that is a saint. And I seem to disagree with that. So. Well, I mean, the Bi my, my theology is apostolic. In a sense of, if it's consistent with the Bible, I believe it. So the, the Bible literal states in 1 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 5, states that there's only one mediator between man and God, the man Christ Jesus. This is also mirrored in the book of Hebrews, chapter 7, verse 25. And where it says there's only one mediator. So if I'm trying to get to the Father, why why do you think we should talk to somebody other than Jesus Christ to get there? Okay, so if you were, if you were to really ask me, yeah. if you, if you, when I pray, I mostly pray to, to God. But right. if, I were, if I were to look at a sense, I might be wrong. Why do people pray to saints? I think they're messengers, whether your message can be conveyed through them towards God. Mm. Oh, so it's fine, it's fine, fine. Continue, yeah, so, continue. So it's that the message can be conveyed towards God through them. Yeah. And then again, if you ask me how I pray, 95% well, 90, of the time I would pray to God the Father. That's just right. Well, I would say there's a reason to pray to God the Father through Jesus. Yes. And it's primarily because he is the one that was able to reconcile you covenantally to the Father. He's the only one who sacrificed your sins and he was the only sinless, you know, human being. Although we believe he's God, he was still a human being in his flesh, right? right? So this is very important. The book of Hebrews chapter 10 verse 10 says that Christ's blood cleanses us of all sins for all time. Jesus says in the book of Revelation chapter 3, I knock on the door, if you let me in, I will eat with you. You see, what Jesus requires of us is not for us to go to the altar and to do the mass or to do the sacraments. What he wants more importantly than anything else is a relationship with you. But if you're praying to Mary, you know, if I say I'm your friend, and yet every time I, I see you, I want to speak to you, I go to like your, let's say you've got another friend, I go to him and say, listen, tell, tell what's your name? Uh, My name is John, right? So tell uh, Kirill, is that name? Yeah. So tell Kirill, tell Kirill I said this. If I did that, I mean, wouldn't you think that's a bit rude? Again, I, I, I agree with that statement. Yeah. But, but I don't know how other Orthodox Christians... I don't know how other Orthodox Christians convey their message. But again, me, personally, I, I, I would like to... I convey my message to Jesus or to... Yeah, to Jesus or God the Father. So I don't, I don't really... It's not my type of thing to pray to a saint. I, I see others do it. I don't really know why, but I didn't really question it why. But I understand where you're coming through as well because, you, as you said, it's rude. So yeah. in a sense, I do agree with you. Yes. Yeah, and uh, here's another thing. You in your church, you have something called iconography or icons, right? Yeah. yeah that's right. I mean, I, I've looked into this. In the early church, people like Tertullian and Origen yeah. disagreed fundamentally with this, and we don't find it even in Clement of Rome or Clement of Alexandria. Yeah. Yeah. The the one thing that's very clear in the Old Testament, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 7. It says that Israel, this new Israel, put away their icons. They'll put away their, their images. You know, the book of Exodus 20, verse 5 says, you shall not neither bow down nor worship images. You know, the reason why God says this is because he's a jealous God. He wants us to worship him properly. Now, if you're bowing before statues, my friend, or icons, you're not serving God, my friend. So I'll say, look, the one question you have to ask yourself is, if your church is supposedly the first church, the one the apostles established, why is it they're breaking one of the commandments? See, I'm not, I'm not the one to come and uh, to ask me these questions because I'm not really uh, 
knowledgeable regarding that. Oh, I'm trying to make you but, think. I'm not, uh, <laughs> that's, that's I'm, I don't think it's only the Orthodox that does, because I've seen Catholics. Uh, oh, no, no, yeah, of course, of course, so I agree. And, I agree, but, but Catholics do as well, and it's wrong. It is, it is idolatry. Right. It is idolatry to bow and pray before statues, because those statues neither can hear you, nor can they convey any meaning. They're just statues. They're just gold, or silver, or paintings. You see, we're told to direct our prayer according to the book of John, chapter 4, verses 22 to 23. We're told to direct our prayer to God the Father through our Lord Jesus Christ in spirit and in truth. So when, when, when people are praying, unfortunately, to statues, they're going against what the Bible says. Now, if you love Christ, well, you told me this, if you love Christ, what, what do you think about that? If you see somebody doing that, what do you think that person's doing? I mean, I would say probably they are misguided or they don't know what they're doing or they do not know how to I would say convey the message properly but again I've always been used to, to praying to Jesus mm. now that, that's just a me type of thing um, so I, then why are you part of the Eastern Orthodox Church my I was born and raised in it so uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm from Russia so uh, it's been uh, with me for like this so yeah. I, well, I would suggest look as a Christian but there are things that Christ established. Jesus Christ says himself in the book of John, chapter 8, verse 31, that my disciples will listen to my word. Now, we have his word here. I would suggest find yourself a church that listens to this. All right. We may be born, I was born, I was born into atheism. My mother was pretty much agnostic atheist. She didn't want to believe in any religion or anything. But just because we're born into something, that doesn't necessarily mean it's true. And I would say, look, what you've said so far isn't far from the kingdom of God. You do trust in Jesus Christ alone. You do, you do, you do not pray to statues or pray to Mary. So you're, you're closer in Jesus Christ than most people, unfortunately, attending your church. But the issue here primarily is, is that if we want to please Christ, we can't partner ourselves with the devil. You know, even the Bible says, I cannot drink from the Lord's table and from the, the table of the devil. I can't do that. So the, the question we have to ask ourselves is, if there is a true church, which, where is it? If the, if the apostles establish a true church, where is it? And I ask myself, and I, I find myself thinking that the only true churches in existence are the ones that are preaching from this, right. are preaching the truth of this. Okay. You know what I mean? So I, I don't know what you think about it. First of all, I want to ask you another question. It's a slight off topic. So I mean, in terms of salvation, do you believe that you're going to heaven when you die? Well, as a... The thing is, if you ask me, there's obviously, we've all made mistakes, right? Mm. And I always wish to repent for everything I've done and try to make myself better mm. uh, in front of Jesus. So at the moment, I don't think I would necessarily qualify for that mm. statement, but I always believe I can do better. Now that, that's what I'm trying to overcome because I recently had things happen in my life and my learning from these things, I want to try to fix my mistakes and to bring myself closer to God. So in a way, I don't believe I for the gates of heaven now, but I do hope that I can make myself and work towards that. Well, well, Jesus didn't say you have to work. Well, I said repent and fix myself because I don't want to live the life I lived before. A hateful life, a sinful life. So I'm currently I'm trying to rethink my rethink of my actions and try to be. Jesus didn't say you need to fix your life. Jesus says he will do it himself. In fact, for example, in the book of John, chapter 10, verse 28, Jesus Christ says, Whoever comes to me. I will not let any of them go. But with his guidance, though. Of, of course, but again, primary to that is his guidance, not what you do. Again, in, Jesus says in John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but shall have everlasting life. So belief in him is enough. The Bible says in Ephesians 1, 13, that once you, are, once you believe, you are sealed with the Holy Spirit, which means you go to heaven. Okay, we all make mistakes. I stand in front of you as somebody who sinned multiple times. The thing is, I want to ask you another question. Right? For example, one of the Ten Commandments, right? Just on the topic, one of the Ten Commandments is that you should love the neighbor, your, your neighbor as yourself. Yes. So let me ask you a few questions. Have you ever, do you feed your neighbor every day? Sorry? Do you feed your neighbor every day? No. Do you clothe your neighbor? Sorry, do I? Do you clothe your neighbor? You know, put clothes on your neighbor, make sure that they've got clothes for the, the month. Well, in, with my village where I come from, Russia, yeah, I do, I do give out help if they need it. So that is my... Um, do, you, do, you, do you make sure that your neighbor always has, for example, electricity in their home? Oh, that, in that case, no. That well, the, the Bible says to love your neighbor as yourself. Now, you will make sure that you're fit. 
you will make sure you've got clothes, or at least in whatever situation you're in, or at least your parents will make sure you've got clothes, whatever situation you're in. Mm -hmm. So, what well, you would try to make sure, if you got sick, you would go straight to the hospital. But me and you, we don't follow the law. We don't follow it exactly. We always sin, even just by doing that. Imagine one, me not feeding my neighbour, not giving them electricity, not paying their rent. I'm not treating my neighbour as myself because I'll do all those things myself. You see, that's the problem with thinking that you can be perfect apart from Christ. You know what I mean? But here's the catch. Okay, because you could not sacrifice yourself for your own sins, you do not have the right to redeem yourself either. So you can't say to Jesus, oh, by the way, Jesus, I did all of these fancy works, let me in. You can't say that to him because you don't have that right. He's saying the only right you have is to believe in me. That's it. What I'm saying right now is that you don't have to work for your salvation. You don't have to try to rush. Yes, you should do good things. We should all do. We should try our best. But think of it a different way. Instead of thinking of doing good things to get to heaven, think, I'm in heaven right now. Christ, I trust Christ. Do you trust Christ? Okay, so if you trust Christ, trust what he says. He says, if you believe in me, you'll be saved. So think about it like this. You believe in me, I'll be saved. So I'm saved now. What can I do for you out of gratitude? And that's why we do good works. That's why I do good works. When I feed somebody, I say glory to Christ. When I give money to somebody, I say glory to Christ. That's it, because it's not about me. I'm saying that's the kind of relationship God asks for, and that's what the Bible represents. Now, if the Bible was written, I'm sorry, I don't want to have the preaching, it's my book, my book. If the Bible was written by the apostles, then they're the ones we should look to, not any random churches. So my friend, I would caution you about the East North Church. I would, I would take that into note, sir. I would, I would take that into note. I'll, I'm actually interested in what you brought up, so I, would, I am interested to read about it when I come home. So of course, man, get yourself I one would, of these, man. I, I think it's I do, but I have my, I actually have two Bibles. So mm. I have the King James English Bible and I have the Russian Orthodox Bible. I like to compare the two sometimes. So. Yeah, yeah. I would suggest reading through the King James. It's a nice Bible. Right. But it will just affirm what I'm saying. Is that like to get into heaven is quite easy. But again, it's more about the relationship. Yeah. You're not working for your salvation, okay? So I'm, I'm discerning right now, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I don't have to rush it out with you. I will say this, look. If, if you need any more like discussions about this, I've got an online channel here. It's called a project. Oh, I, I visit here pretty much every week, so I'll probably oh. see you around. Yeah. Maybe if because I, I probably won't come until like, another month because I, okay. I, I'm not coming as often now. But if I see you, I see you, and I've got my channel of projects on. If you want to come and talk a bit more about what we believe, but I would suggest yes, read through the Bible and ask Jesus. Don't don't just listen to me. Cry to Jesus and say, Jesus, was this random guy John standing high part? Was he right about what he said to you? And he will lead you. But anyway, bro. I appreciate the talk. No, no problem, man. God bless you, man. Take care, man. Do you want to speak to him? Johnny, I think yeah. he's a Catholic. Are you a Catholic? Oh, you're not a Catholic? No, sir. I'm just talking to him. Well, if he's talking to you, I don't want to interrupt. So. He asked me a question. That's why I Oh, did he answer your question? Did you answer? Oh, no, no, uh, if you could just wait your turn. Well, 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 it's not a turn. I'm just asking the question just quickly. Just, it's just, just a minute. What, was, it, what was the question you asked her? I didn't ask her a question. You didn't ask her? You know, no, I am I talking to this man. I'll just calm down. You're all gross. I'll talk to you in a minute. I'll talk to you in a minute. I'll talk to you in a minute. Okay, okay. Go ahead. I'll just calm yourself down, man. The Laminator! The Laminator! <laughs> yes, James, how you doing, man? God bless, man. Can you come to the camera whilst you wait? I'm going to turn up with the phone. Who's the guy who thinks he's the, who's the, guy, who's the colourful guy here? Where's he from? Oh, well, I'm I from America, I think. What is that? Where's that? <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. What, what did you want? Just talk to the camera and kill Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Yes, how are you doing, James? Oh, it's the brother here. How you doing, man? How you doing? Man? How are you? Well, here. Would he get upset? It's not here, it's a she. And she will get upset, yes. <laughs> oh, no, you're not sure. You're making everyone scared to the right thing. Yeah, yeah, that's how we do it, bro. That's how we do it, bro. Yeah, that's how we do it. Yeah, do it. They're not going to do that, don't worry. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. So, how have you been doing, James? 
Don't say too much on camera because, yeah, we're recording, but yeah. Just kind of cruising, you know. Yeah, we could talk a bit later. Bit of this, bit of that. Bit of this and bit of that. It's all good fun. I mean, the, 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 the thing is, is that when you are actually saved by the blood of Jesus Christ, the force of Satan will come for you. Exactly. And they come yeah. for me big time. No, they do. They do. That's what Satan does. He doesn't like it. He doesn't like it when someone can stand their own. Exactly. How are you doing, man? How are you doing? He doesn't like it when the people can actually stand their own. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. What's your name again? Yeah. Steve. Jamie. 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 Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Right, so what do you want to know? Oh no, I mean, Amy wanted me to speak to you. You spoke to you. I think there was a kerfuffle with you and Bob, wasn't there? Yeah. My bad, bro. Bob's a bit of a really. Like, yeah, I, love yes. <laughs> okay. I love masculine, masculine Christianity. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, and I, and I believe that's his strength. Right. But it's also his weakness. Right. No, 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 I, I agree with you. I mean, what's, so what's your problems with his view of Christianity? If you don't mind me asking. Well, to be honest with you, I was minding my own business, flying the Russian flag. Bob's usually over there, but he's kind of staying next to me today, right? And uh, I, I decided, I asked him a couple of weeks earlier. Do you mind if I film you, by the way? No, not know. at all. Yeah. I asked him a couple of weeks earlier. Fine, yeah. uh, uh, I said to him, oh, where'd you come from, Bob? Because I was supporting him against Speaker's Corner Steve, who was giving him an hard time, because he gives everyone a hard time. Yeah. He attacks the Muslims, he attacks the Christians, because, I don't know, he's a communist or something, he hates religion. So I said, well, anyway, so I showed Bob that I was supporting him, right? Anyway, and then I just said to him afterwards, oh, where'd you come from? And he just said something, and I put a chill down, and said, oh, I do not disclose, sorry, personal information to anyone. I come from Paddington in the Arrow Road. I ain't got a problem with telling people well. So I thought, oh, I'll keep away from him, he's a bit dodgy. So anyway, a couple of weeks later, I'm over here, and he saw my Russian flag, and he didn't like it. So I just said, do you like my Russian flag? Well, being friendly, but like I was the last time I saw him. And he said, no. He said, uh, I don't like uh, Christian fighting Christian. And I said, yeah, I'll get that. But Putin never started it. And he said, oh, yes, he did. So he started calling them a mafia state. I started explaining. I don't know if you've seen all the video. My videos. I've seen all of it now. That's what I'm No, because I've actually yeah, yeah. got all of it. If you go to Patriotic Twins UK, right, right on BitChute or Rumble, you'll see the unedited version of the whole lot. Yeah. And basically, I said to Bob, look, I ain't going to have a go at you over the Bible because you're a bit too good for that. I said, but if you're talking about history and things like that, I said, you'll come unstuck with me. And to a certain extent, he did come unstuck. He actually turned around and said he supports Ukraine. I said, well, what about NATO expansion? And, it, and, he, and I also told him that I believe the Zionists have took over the, the top of the British Empire and it's become the Zionist British Empire. Are you on YouTube? Yeah, yeah. They won't like that. I don't like that. I don't do YouTube. That's why I'm on bit shoot and rumble. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, right, so you'll get kicked off, right? So Bob, get Bob said that's a conspiracy theory. <laughs> yeah, right? It ain't yeah, a conspiracy yeah. theory, right? They take and I explained how they took over the banks. Uh, Rothschild took over the bank in 1815, the Bank of England, introduced income tax to the British people, mm. which is slavery, to pay for the Napoleonic Wars. Yeah. Then he took over the Fed, he created the Federal Reserve in America in 1913, introduced income tax to the American people, which wow. is against the Constitution, which is slavery. The sweat of your eyebrow that you pay income tax is slavery. Yeah. That's just a fact. Yeah. So this is what they've done. They took over, they hijacked the British Empire, they've now got the American Empire, yeah. and uh, we are now in a situation where we're under control by these people and they've destroyed us. They've destroyed the family, our Christian values. Uh, you do know that uh, Justin Welby, his father's real name was Wheeler and he was a Jew. I mean, Justin Welby is a false Christian. Yeah, he is. where he it was, the whole of Africa rejected him when he blessed civil marriages in the Anglican Church in February 2023. Right? Yeah, and I was trying to tell Bob, but Bob, I said, well, tell everyone what Leviticus chapter 18 says. Exactly. And he wouldn't repeat it. He wouldn't, he just ignored that's, it. That's because Bob doesn't want to deal yeah. with the fact that, because he, he's an Achimonist, you know what I mean by Achimonist? So Achimonists believe that every person who calls himself a Christian is a Christian, regardless of what they're actually doing. Okay. For, for us, no, a Christian is one who stands upon this, this is the word of God. Yeah. Right. So you're a Protestant? Yeah. yeah. Well, pretty much, I would Which call myself a born again Christian. Oh, you're a born again? Yeah, I'm you're a not a Christian Zionist? No, no, I'm not a Christian Zionist, but I'm a born again Christian. And I follow Christ and Christ only. Yeah. Whereas individuals like Bob, like Catholicism, Eastern Orthodoxy, which praise the saints, praise oh, so the no Mary. wonder he was saying, oh, I, I, but I said to him, I said, look, Putin hasn't started this. Right. Russia is Christian. I said, it's a Christian flag. Is I don't it? believe Russia is Christian either. Well, uh, uh, let me tell you. the Saints is not Christian. Right, either. yeah, you don't like, oh, look, look, for, for the sake of it, right? Mm. I'm not here to tell the Russians what form of Christianity. I'm not an aggressive Christian. 
Christian, like if you're a bit of an evangelical, you probably want to go out and bleach your branches with Christianity. He's running again. I want to preach the truth. That's it. The point is, right? Coward! 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 Calm down a bit, mate. Right, so basically, right? So what? All right, okay. So what? So what? Let's go over Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just move this. I don't know where Amy is. She's my cover for this one. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Yes. Oh, sorry, man. Sorry. Sorry, man. So, look, I, yeah. look I'm, I'm British, right? Yeah. I'm a nationalist, right? But I don't want to sorry, go out man. like British people did and start telling the old world what to do it anymore. Hmm. If they want to be Christ, uh, Russian Orthodox, that's their business. It is their business. Well, I don't want to get involved in other people's affairs, right? Yeah. And that's what we're seeing with this BRICS thing that's going on. Uh, I mean, I'm taking, it, but I'm taking it away from religion now. Yeah. Uh, you've got uh, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. They don't delve into each other's affairs. Mm. So, but whereas we've got these human rights in the West, whereas we can't deal with you unless you do as we tell you to do. Like the African countries, for instance, right? When the IMF wants to loan money to an African country, they say, we've well, got to do the transgender agenda. Mm. Or you so don't get the money. Would you call yourself like, let's say, look, I'm going to put this on a scale from like Tommy Robinson to Mark. Tommy Burnett. Robinson, a traitor. Oh, so you don't agree with Tommy I Robinson? I used to follow him. He's a traitor. He's a Zionist shield. Oh, wow. Just like, just like Nigel Farage, right? Look, here's my George Cross. Look, I'm an Englishman, right? Yeah. I was in the MP, mm. right? And what, Nick Would Griffin. Would you consider yourself Christian, by the way? Yeah. What, what church you got? You well, I don't, can't go to a church in this country. They've all been destroyed. All of them? Oh, the church, I'm Church of England. Oh, so you're an Anglican? Yeah. Yeah. So how can I go to a Church of England church when the Justin Wheeler, right, his dad was called Wheeler, he's a, he's a Jew, he anglicised his name to Welby, he's, he's, he gets, his son gets, he, he, his, his wife divorced, he actually bought him up himself, and his son ends up being the Archbishop of Canterbury, right, and he, he blesses same-sex marriages that mm. have been done in a civil ceremony, in the Anglican Church, he does, which is against yeah, yeah. Leviticus chapter 18, which you would agree, with. Of course, and Romans 1, 26, 27. Yeah, yeah. So, so basically, the whole African Church said, we're not having nothing to do with this guy, get rid of him, or we're, we're not part of the Anglican Church. As an Anglican, I want to ask you a question. How, like, for example, what's your relationship with Jesus Christ? When, it's when not was a very good relationship. I mean, I, was, I went to the Church of England school. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a practicing Christian, but deep down in me, I do believe I am a Christian. And well, no, so, I mean, in terms of Jesus Christ, though, because, I, I mean, fundamentally, Jesus Christ says, if you believe in me, you shall be saved. Mm. So, like, in terms of your, your, your view of Jesus Christ, what do you think he is? Well, he's, he's basically, I believe Christianity, through Jesus Christ, created the modern family, the world that we live in today. And I, 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 to me, the family is very important. My mum and dad divorced. I've bought up two sets of twins on my own for 11 years. And I've got another two kids, and both, both my relationships, my, I've got a divorce, my wife went to pieces. I see feminism as communism. I see everything, and Bob denies that feminism is communism, by the way. <laughs> hey, it's on my video, on Patriotic Twins UK, on BitChute or Rumble, you've got the full unedited version. Would what you say you that your, your faith in Jesus Christ is not based upon him? based upon, you know, values that you've grown up with. Yeah, it's more values, yeah. yeah. And uh, the values that I, I want to see is the, uh, is the free, free uh, the, the grandparents, the mother and the children. It's a free generational family. Thing. Of course, of course. So that, we, I mean, mum and dad, I, I believe the woman should be at home looking after her kids mm. while the man goes out to work. And both mum and dad are busy. They can't give the young conditional love that a child, the children need, right? I'm going to say it in the plural because we need lots and lots of children. Mm. And so that's where the grandparents step in. You don't send them to school. I've took my children out of school. They will vaccinate them with poison vaccines. They will put ideologies into them like transgenderism and everything. Black well, lives matter. You've just yeah. brought up an integral problem because this is the issue, right? Yeah. Because, because don't, there are don't many people. Don't trust your children with strangers. Of course you shouldn't, right? And that but because there are many people who don't know Jesus Christ, because again, it's the Christian church comes out of the Bible. Yeah. That's a fact. Yeah. And it's just a given that Jesus Christ was an actual person. And yes, he did push that fundamentally the man was ahead of the wife, you know, the man worked and the wife, of course, took out, looked after the kids. This is all throughout the book of Proverbs as well. You can see this as well. The fundamental thing about Christian, being a Christian, according to Jesus Christ, not you and I, to be a Christian, you must be born again. And that can only happen through belief and trust in him. Jesus Christ says, my disciples, those who follow me, will believe in my word. 
You know, so fundamentally, a relationship with Jesus Christ is what's more important for this country. Why do I say that? Because you can claim to have an ethical Christianity, much like Charles, was not Charles Darwin, what's his name? Um, Richard Dawkins claims to be a cultural Christian. You can claim that, but if you don't have the ethics, you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, it makes no sense. And eventually your kids are going to start asking questions. Oh, Daddy, what about God? Daddy, what about this? What, what do I do about the Bible and this contradiction? And eventually you'll have to answer them. Otherwise, the Muslims will ask those questions for you yeah, as right. they're doing. And we're seeing lots of converts. So, I mean, uh, yeah. Andrew Tate's... Uh, and Steve so Turley in America said, you know, this is a shot across our bounds. Steve Turley, he's, a, he's an Orthodox Christian. You heard Dr. Steve Turley in America? No, I haven't. No. Oh, he's, he's great on telly. He's great on YouTube and all that. He's always got a smile on his... But he says, what Andrew Tate represents is a shot across the bounds of there's something wrong with Christianity in the West that this man has to go to Islam. Who's well, a Western the Western issue Western is, Western the West has denied its Christian heritage found in the Bible. Yeah, yeah. If you look into the earliest iterations of Christianity from the 2nd century, before there was a Church of England, by the way, there was a Church of England. Yeah. I, I, I know that sounds weird to you, but there was an English church in England well before, you know, King Henry VIII and all of this stuff. I don't know where well, you know we, that I, I'm part of a group, right, yeah. where we've got the Athelstan Round Table. Right. Do you know who King Athelstan? Yeah, I've heard of King Athelstan, yes. He, yeah. but, but if you actually speak to people, all the top historians in this country, uh, Dr. My, Professor Michael Woods, right? Mm. He actually speaks Anglo-Saxon. He's the pre pre premier spokesperson for Anglo-Saxon England. And he won't tell you where the Battle of Brunenburg was fought, right? He would, he would lie where it's fought. I'm, I'm one of the few people that found out where it was fought. It was in the Wirral, wow. in a place called Brombra. Now, why is that important? Because this confirmed for the third time that Athelstan was Rex uh, Totius Britanniae. He was the first king of Britain. Now, when the Romans came here, they had to build walls. Adrian's Wall, we've all heard of Adrian's Wall and Antonine's Wall to keep the so-called barbarians out in Northern Britain. So he never conquered this island. Rome never conquered this island. Athelstan conquered this island. Exactly. And he became the first. And we had founding fathers in this country. Alfred the Great, Ethelfled, the Lady of the Mercians, uh, who was Alfred's daughter. Alfred's son, Edward the Elder, and the son of Edward the Elder was Athelstan. We've got four founding fathers, mm. and they created a Christian kingdom and based on Christianity. Our, based on uh, the laws of this country, you cannot be an Englishman if you're not a Christian. Well, fundamentally... Because the laws were based on the Ten Commandments. Of course, of course, yeah, it was. Uh, chap uh, 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 Leviticus chapter 18 of course, and yeah, the, the Sermon the on the Mount. Right? And the other thing that needs to be noted is, yeah. is that there was a Roman occupation of Britain that brought in Roman Catholicism. Before that, with people well, like St. Alban. Constantine. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He was but, the enemy of Athelstan. Of course, Athelstan but there was people the like yeah. St. Alban of Verilan, for example, who died yeah. in Holy Hill when Hartford shot. He died having trusted in the word of God. There were many communities that believed in the Bible as it, as it stands. Yeah. It was after when the Roman Catholics came in and started to persecute Christians in the country. That's when it was dominated by a wave of Roman Catholicism. You see, you see, the, the, the issue here primarily is that I'm calling the British people back to the foundations of where their, their truth comes from. Yeah. This country was built upon this. Yeah. It was built upon this. Yeah. And it, even Anglicanism was built upon this. And I'm saying, the only way we're going to get back to that is if we've got more people like me, yeah, yeah. even if they don't look like me, more people like me obviously, going out and preaching obviously the Obviously, Alfred was a Roman Catholic. Yeah, was, no, was, I know he was a Roman Catholic. But, yeah. but I mean, still, they, they, he, he, where does it come from in the First Amendment in America? Uh, sorry, the Second Amendment, the right to bear arms. Mm. Do you know where it comes from? Not off the top of my head, I know, I know it's well, Christians that yeah, like formulated it. It, it came yeah. from England, right? But where did where did the English got it from? Well, what I'm saying to the English got it from, it goes back to the Last Supper. Mm. Where hit, uh, hit, Jesus, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Jesus, yeah, yeah, Jesus said, right, that uh, the Romans are going to come and take me tomorrow, right? Mm. And these disciples said, no, no, no. He said, no, leave the Romans, they've got to do what they've got to do. He said, but any of you, they're going to be coming for you. Any of you that don't have a sword, sell your cloak and buy a sword. All Christians have the right to defend themselves, right? Of course, yeah, and yeah. also, Jesus washed the feet of his disciples at the Last Supper. He did, what yeah. he was actually telling you is, right, I don't rule over you, I serve you, mm. right? And this is, Alfred done this sort of thing. He was a traditional Christian, and they, they had to get rid of the Anglo-Saxon prison, because what they done, they sent William the Conqueror over in 1066, mm. and, he, and he brought his country back to feudalism. He, the, 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 the average Anglo-Saxon Englishman, Right, was allowed to carry the premier weapon of the day around his king. 
Right. Right. Yeah, that's so true. And, that's so true. and he's, he didn't rule over his people, he served his people. Mm. So Alfred understood these traditional values. The Catholic Church probably wasn't always evil, because once you get something that's centrally controlled, it becomes evil. It wasn't always the same as it is today. No, yes. Yeah. So what it I saw sort of trying to say. Into its so once you have a central control, which it is at Rome, especially right, after Saint Ambrose came to this yeah, country. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, like, I'm, uh, we know Augustine came here and converted uh, the English, right? Yeah. But you know, central control is, is is really good thing to make. We was the most central control country in Europe. Yeah. We had a central judicial system. So the Normans took full advantage of that when they come here in 1066. Yeah. So what what happened was it was actually done for the good. It's like socialists, they love the difference between the socialist and the Christian, right? Is that the socialists believe that uh, the centre of their world is the state. Oh, no, 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 of course. <laughs> socialists believe the centre of their world is the state. Yeah. And the state, uh, but the thing is, the state can be corrupted and yeah, become can't, evil. Yeah, can't. Whereas Christians believe the centre of their world is God. Yeah, Christ. Right? That's, that's yeah, the centre yeah, of the yeah, world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, and, and that can't never be corrupted. Yeah. That's the difference. It's because the word of God cannot be corrupted. Yeah, yeah, and fundamentally, right. yeah. that's why I believe in what I believe in. Because this this becomes a standard for us. Yeah. There are so many different church institutions. The Roman Catholics would go on to kill many Protestants in this country who were Bible believers. Amishan, up in Amishan, I don't yeah. know if you heard about in Amishan, loads of them up there. Yeah, I mean, Fox's Book of Mart Martyrs details attacks, burnings, like hangings from Roman Catholics upon Christians in this country. All we're saying is fundamentally, it's about whether you are born again. That's the truth. Yeah, yeah. Because this is more so a spiritual battle than it is even a fleshy battle. Yeah. Right now, all we're seeing, you know, is a crowd, a wave of people coming in from other countries, d dominating with their cultures. Yeah. But really behind that is a spiritual attack. As long as you're not a demonic, demonic group Again, behind all that, doing all that. But it's because the British have des decided to deny the church. They've yes. decided to deny the Bible and to well, deny Christ. We've been manipulated to do it. We work through television. Right, course, what they sure. do is they program you with the programs, right? Yeah. Through our education system, it's been taken over by communists, mm. and uh, you know everything. The whole of our system, we've got feminism, and it's it's destroyed the family. It's that's a fundamental part that they and get to do. That's the fundamental seed of the devil, you yeah. see, yeah. and that's why I'm calling all men. If and you I are believe, a Christian, I believe that Zionism is behind it. Maybe I don't know, but I, I, I haven't gone that far. But I would just say this: fundamental to the Christian walk is the Christian Bible. Yeah. You can't have one without the other. And any man that claims to be a Christian yet yeah, doesn't have the Bible, doesn't really know Christ. If you don't know how, how Christ is, how can you have a weapon good man, in your you're hand good man, you're good to take on the system where you've got a wave of Muslim converts? Most of them are British white now. They're, they're literally coming out of the woodworks. Well, many of them are, not most of them. But they're coming out of the woodworks because of Darwa stores. The only way to take that away from them is for a new evangelical effort in this country to take people back oh, to the truth of Christianity. Badly needed, badly needed. Yeah. And it's not about me. I, I say this. I'm nothing. It's Jesus Christ who's everything. And that's what I do this for, bro. You're doing a good job. Yeah. So I, a good job. But that's the only reason I'm here to talk to you. Just tell you, look, read the Bible. Yeah. That's the most important thing. And get your kids to as well. Yeah, well, we've it's got, got our Bible. Well. He's, he's got a Bible upstairs. We've got our family Bible that, I, that my dad had when he was a kid. So I've got that. Yeah. Get into that connection, man. That, that's, yeah. that's what will fundamentally change things. The more, the merrier. Then we can build more churches. Then we can take on the Darwin Initiative. We can only do that if we've got more people who are born again. We cannot do it with Bob's Christianity. We can't do it with the, the, a so lot Bob, of Bob Christians. Bob actually believes that all Christians, he's, uh, he's, he, what, he's, he's a uni... uni is it, is it, is it, is it he's a, a communist, not oh, a unitarian. What is a communist? A communist. Um, it's somebody who believes that, every, he believes that Jehovah's Witnesses, Mormons, all, all for different forms of people claim and to be And he Christian studied it, he's quite well, he's quite well learned. I, I would say he hasn't studied it enough. And this is why I try to have the discussions with him. He's an obnoxious bastard, isn't he? Yeah, 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 <laughs> he just is. He's not going to talk to me. He seems to think that I'm attacking Christians by talking to him. Even though this is Hyde Park, it's the home of freedom of speech. I can talk to everyone, and they can talk to me. I, I don't see the problem with that, but that is what it is, man. That is what it is. Oh. But I won't, leave, I, I won't keep it too long. My name's John, by the way. Jamie. Jamie, nice to meet yeah, you, Jamie, nice man. It was a nice conversation, by yeah, the way. Good, good. But all I was saying is I'd say to everyone, right? Try and, uh, I mean, we, we, we had a website, the Understand Round Table, but it went down. Yeah. But we're going to try and get it up again. We, England as founding fathers, mm. right? And it's not just England. They united the whole of Britain, and for, for, for one kingdom, he fought three, he had three times he had to prove that he was king of Rex Totius Britanniae, which is, which is the Roman version of saying things. But yeah. it wasn't all evil in them days. They, 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 it, it got corrupted. Central control always becomes corrupted. It always this becomes is, corrupted. I, I like to talk to Piers Corbyn, who's a socialist, and, uh, and he, he, he's not a Christian, but 
in his heart, he, I think he's a pretty decent bloke because he does. He's against the vaccines. He's against the one world government and all mm. the horrible things. I don't know if you're against the vaccines. Yeah, of course, right. <laughs> so no, and, and he does a lot of things. He's against the World Economic Forum. So I believe that I, you know, a little bit like Bob, really. I want to unite with people that are a bit different from me. Oh, but I, I, I always think the bigger enemy. But the enemy can always be bigger. And this is the problem. When the Roman Catholic invasion yeah. of the entirety of Britain, when Protestantism was true, because Protestantism is very ancient. Like even even in the fifth century, there were Protestant churches. They just weren't called Protestants. Really. Yeah, I mean, if you look it up. There was a church in Ionia in Scotland. Oh imagine. right, Ionia. We got, yeah. came over from Ireland, didn't it? Yeah, sort of. It came from St Patrick, who himself yeah. was, was Welsh. Yeah, it was. It was sort of Welsh. Welsh slave. Yeah. Yeah, and he was. He basically just believed in Bible. You're saying that Iona Church was? Oh, of course, of course. When they met in the middle of Britain, the Roman Catholic Church had to go and have a meeting with the Celtic Church yeah. to bring them back into line. Yeah, because they, they wanted it. to... So is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yes, but that because church was fundamentally... Through the collapse of the Roman Empire, the Anglo-Saxons filled that vacuum, who were pagans, in the 450s, and it wasn't until, I don't know, the 650s or something, when they got converted. So there's 200 years where the Celtic kingdoms of Ireland and... We wouldn't Britain. say they were they were entirely pagan because here's the thing, they no, the were English Christian were pagan. The English yeah, yeah, the pagan. English were, yeah. So like, they're, 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 it took speaking. a couple of hundred years at least, from 450 to I don't know when Augustine came over and can finally they finally converted the English. But it what came, it was, came the, around Augustine, the, 5th the Augustines are coming in from the south from yeah. Kent, and the Celts, the Celtic ones from my places like Iona were coming in from the north, and they met in the middle of yeah. what we now call England, yeah. and then they actually have a little deal, and they said, well, you've been cut off from Rome for a couple of hundred years now since the collapse of Rome because these pagan English were in the middle and you was literally isolated so your um, our religion's moved on now so you have to come back into line with us well, well fundamentally with the uh, am I right though am I right you're kind of right so the the, Ongo the Augustinian invasion he first came came in to sort of evangelize to those people yeah. but then he realized that there were churches who were not in line with them they, they refused to yeah. you know you can read this and there's a book by uh, John Henry the I've Aubergine. got to have a copy of this yeah. You've got to give me where it's called. Yeah, no, so it's copy called, this video. Yeah, of course. It's called the Reformation in England. Right, Just right. type that in, in, in any any um, search engine, you'll find it. The Reformation in England. When you read that, you can find before there was the Rome came over. In fact, there were many converts to Christianity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even Tertullian in the second century mentions that Britain received the gospel. This is the second century. So there were churches. There's rumors that Jesus visited this island as well. There, there are rumors, yeah. It was, it was, either, oh, it was either Jesus or Joseph Arimathea who buried Jesus. It was either one of them. But yeah, it was essentially this, that there were groups of Christians. And what I'm saying is that those groups of Christians, according to history, they didn't refer to Rome. They believed in the Bible. It was when the Roman Catholics came over, they, tried to, they decided to bring in more liberal values. And they did it slowly but surely. And that's why we have a papacy today that's fully liberal. Because it's a complete takeover. The papacy agrees with gay marriage. He's come out and say that, even though he hasn't made it dogma. Well, I think he's a Zionist that. infiltrator. Maybe his, <laughs> name was, uh, his name was uh, uh, Wheeler. Yeah, he was a Jesuit as well. He was a yeah, Jesuit yeah, as well, so, yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, look, there's, a lot, there's, a, there's a, lot of, uh, a lot of skullduggery going on. There is. I, I call them myself, I call them uh, chameleons. Yeah. A bit like what Ike says, they're lizards. But they, they're chameleons because they hide. They camouflage. Oh, themselves. well, you're a Nike fan. I, uh. well, I'm not a Nike fan. It's a bit uh, of what he says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he calls them lizards, but I just call them chameleons. I'm talking about the Zionists. Yeah, yeah. Because they, they hide yeah. themselves and, and, and they look like you and they, 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 they camouflage themselves. Of Chameleon course. camouflages itself. Yeah. You know? So of it's course. funny that I say that and then, you know, they get accused of being. Uh, Lizards. <laughs> oh, of course. Well, I mean, look, I've got, I've got to go over there. I'm right, being listen, called. Listen, give me, uh, how can I trace this uh, video? Yeah, it's called Apologetics London. So if you Apologetics type, London. Yeah, if you type into Google, Google or YouTube. So when will you be putting this up? Will you be putting it it's up? It's literally live right now, so oh, it's all YouTube? Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apologetics, uh, spell it for me. Okay. Oh, it's, oh, sorry. Okay. I'll get it. Could you give that to her, please? Thanks. Say it like that, Apologetics London. Yeah, yeah. If you type down, we do many um, live streams, I'll many discussions. I'll put that discussions. on my platform. I'm Patriot Twins UK on Big Shoot and Number. Oh, nice, nice. So where, nice. where you get a bit more free speech. You're not just putting it on YouTube, are you? Uh, it's just on YouTube yeah, for now. You need <laughs> to be putting it somewhere else. Because yeah. when you get someone like me and start saying them things, they take your videos down. Uh, uh, the hope is that because this is live, they probably won't notice. Because <laughs> I've said controversial things during lives as well, so I'm not worried. Right. Well, nice speaking yeah. to anyway. Nice speaking to you, Jamie. God bless. Okay. Well, Jesus, God, well, 
Oh, that's finished, right? Are we done this? Oh, sorry, man. Sorry. And I totally destroy all that belongs to them. Oh, the oh. Do not spare them. Oh, yeah. Okay. And the Bible it says, do not spare them. Oh. Put to death men and women, children and infants. Cattle Are we just allowing to speak or what's going on? Fine, I'm going to read in my Bible. Camels and Oh, that's what you're doing. I won't waste time, just read out how they... Oh, fair enough. Was Jesus God? No, John, yeah, you're not God. I know, you know <laughs> You're like a jungle boy. Are you not like a jungle boy? Yeah, that sounds like racism, Muslim. Are you still alive? Are you still, yeah, alive? Are you still here? 30 years, dude. You've been here longer than I've been alive, man. That's fine, let me, let me finish. Yeah. Yeah. Who's going to speak? Yeah, I've been talking to him, John. Yeah. Hold this for me. No, come on, I can't keep no, him quiet. Don't be rude, old man. That's very rude, isn't it? Right. That's very rude, isn't it? What about your profit and rape little kids? What about that? What about your profit and rape little kids, bro? Do you want to go there? Yeah, you know yeah, yeah I... I, I listen, listen, let me respond to you. John, why are you... If you want to I'm going to insult your profit. John. Your profit mounted a nine-year-old girl. I'm going to insult your profit and be rude to me. You're an animal. Apologize. Animal. Apologize. Animal. Apologize. I'll talk about your profit mounted a nine-year-old. Animal. Apologize. You're an animal. Apologize, my brother. Shut your mouth. You're an animal. John, let me read one You're an animal. Trumpet You're an animal. You're acting like a dog. Right, can I respond to you? I will respond to you with the Bible. Absolutely. I'm British. I won't take any insults. Okay? okay you get me not British, my friend. John, can I read the Bible? You're definitely not. Trust John. me. Yeah, you need to change your glasses. Right, I want to respond to you. You're blind. What's that? Is that praise? That's we Arab fought for this country. So shut Take your mouth. Take that to Arabia, brother. Shut your mouth. Quiet. Right, I want to respond to you with the Bible. Listen. I want to respond to you with the Bible. Listen. If you want to speak with me, tell him to be quiet. Uh, we I'm need to be quiet. Because I, I like speaking. Let me. I like speaking. Sam's a man. She's speaking. Why don't you have some manners? Why don't you have some manners and trim that beard, brother? It's looking bad. Shut your mouth. You're acting like an animal. Shut your mouth. 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 Shut you're acting like an animal. Okay. So this is what the Bible says concerning Israel. You know, keep not the silence of God. Hold not your peace and be not still, O God. For, your en for my enemies, they hate us and lift their head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consultant against the hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut us from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more remembered. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confident against us, the Tamagos of evil and the Ishmaelites, the Ishmaelites of more than the Hagarad, Gebel and Ammon, Amalekite, the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre. As Sue also is joined with them, they've hoped in the children of Lot. Do unto them as unto the Madinites and to Sisera, as to Japur and the Brook of Ison, which perish. He's telling them. Yes, if you attack Israel, God will attack you. That's what it says in God here. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm reading to you. Make their nobles like Oreb and like Zeb. Amy, rather than read the whole of your Bible, answer this one. Where I read in the Bible, it says... Um, Amy, I'm going to turn this it off. It says... I think you need to film that twice. That's fine. Twice. Okay. Okay. I want you to answer me. Where I read in the first book of uh, this camera behind me. Okay. So I want you to. Can you give me the hadith about First Samuel? On the Carry on, I'm listening. He's no. trying to quote me, Samuel. Get your attention. This. Okay. Where I read in your Bible in the first. I'm listening. I'm, I can hear you. Carry on. I want. Okay. Where. Oh, you be quiet. Are you a Sunni? Are you be quiet. I'm a Muslim. Change your glasses. Are you blind? Are you blind? Be quiet. Be quiet. Oh, be quiet. Don't worry. You're a liar. Hey, you're a liar. Why oh, shut your mouth? I'll show you, bro. Let me embarrass him. Sorry. Why be quiet? You just go one minute. Let me embarrass him. Let me embarrass him. What do you mean? I, I, want to I want to embarrass you because your prophet literally did jihad. 
Don't worry, the dog's gonna attack you. Why are you crying? Okay, the dog's gonna attack. I'm gonna show you the jihad. Don't worry about the dog's talking to you. I wanna show you the jihad though. Why are you crying? You gonna run? You wanna run? You shall fight the Jews. This is Sahih Bukhari. Okay, you're a Muslim. You're a Sunni Muslim. So why are you talking about the Bible as a Sunni Muslim? Except what your prophet says. Okay, this is Jami al Tamili. You shall fight the Jews. You will gain such control over them that a rock will say, O oh, Muslim, this is a Jew behind me. Kill it. So answer the question. Why is your prophet okay with killing Jews? And why is your prophet an anti Semitic criminal who should have been locked up? You're a criminal. Why was your prophet you a terrorist? You are a criminal. Okay. You are a terrorist. Your prophet says this. You are a stupid man. I'm a terrorist. That's your prophet, prophet literally killed Don't innocent Jews it. for no okay, reason. Okay. You're you you related to me. Mutawata Malik. This is accepted this by most Sunni it. scholars this as hadith. Mutawala Matik. Yeah, yeah, related to me. From Malik, they heard. Umar Ibn Abd Aziz gave a decision that when a Jew or a Christian was killed, his blood money was half the blood money of a free Muslim. Why is it that I'm paying half the blood money for killing a Christian than a Muslim? Ask the question. You want to ask the question? Yeah, okay. You want to ask the question? I'm waiting for him. I'm waiting for him. I'm waiting for him. I'm not Christian. I'm waiting for Okay, be quiet. I'm waiting for you. Okay, be quiet. Are you going to hurry up? Are you going to hurry up? You be quiet. Be less rude, old man. Yeah, you're be being less rude. Calm yourself down. Guys, I don't mind because you're rude. Are you going to continue? Tell me to go. Why are you running? Go some hood running. Shut your mouth. I don't run. I'm standing right here. Look, let me correct you. You don't even know your own religion. You've come to the park and you don't even know your own religion. Who's your God? Who's your God? Who's your God? Who is your God? Okay. Also, who's your God? Who's my God? Yeah. The God of Muhammad. You liar. Yes. Okay, Allah subhanahu Your way is the God hey. of Muhammad. Hey. Okay. Your way hey. literally your brought way? Muhammad into the who's world. Your way? Yahweh is Jesus Christ himself, man. Let him go, let him go. Are you going to run? Goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, Yala. Yala, look, you can't have big proof against me at all. Why is it their own scholars can't have big proof? Did your God die? Did your God die? Muhammad died in Medina. He got caught up. Muhammad got caught up in Medina. How do you know that he was revelation the Jews? Where is the revelation of Muhammad in the cave? How do you Muslims believe in a peanut butter? You have sex with an animal. Why do you believe in that? You are an animal. You are not an argument. That's not an argument. You are a dirty Okay, so old man, old man, do you want to actually have a conversation? I'm just going to bark. I'm a nice man. Okay. Just yeah. Have a conversation. yeah, you're barking. Because you're boring. You're barking. You're embarrassing you're yourself in front of all these people. You're barking. You're embarrassing yourself. You're barking. You're embarrassing yourself. You're barking. Literally, you're embarrassing Speak yourself. Speak properly. I think you need to go back to the home. Okay. Who? You need to go back to the home. You're embarrassing Shut yourself. Your Look, mouth. I'm going to get you on that Sun Life plan. Don't worry. I'm going to get you on that Sun Life plan. I'm going to get him on that Sun Life plan. We're going to get him on that Sun Life plan. Allah educated fool. Allah educated idiot. Allah is a demon. Allah is a demon. He didn't pray anybody. Prove to me Allah was God. Your prophet was bewitched. Your prophet was bewitched. Don't shut up. He thought he had sex with him. He was I can show you that from Hadith. Shut your mouth. You don't even know what you're talking about, brother. Speak nicely, okay? No insults. You keep no. crying. Dude. Yeah, you was crying. You keep crying. You're going to have a conversation. Go back to school. Am I crying? Who's crying? <laughs> Who's crying? <laughs> all right, all right. Your prophet needs to stay away Shut from school. Shut your mouth. <laughs> okay, don't act like a dog. Okay, answer me. Uh, well. Did your God Jesus die? That's a diversion. Answer. Why did Allah enter creation? Answer. Did Allah enter creation? Answer. Did Allah enter creation? According to Hadith, Allah right. entered the seven heaven. Did your so God did, your, did your prophet enter the did seven heaven? Did your God heaven? die? Big man, big man, big man. Did your God die? Big man, big man. Did your God enter creation? Animal. Allah entered in the seven so according to your Did you go prophet, down? Allah Did you entered go the seventh down? heaven. That means your you God entered creation. So if your God enters creation, hey, that means he goes from potential to actual. He actually God changes. Do you know your God went from potential to actual? Does your God have a mother? Does your God have a mother? Does your God have a mother? Does your God went from potential to actual? Answer me. Does your God Jesus have a mother? Answer. Answer, you coward.
Was Jesus oh, God? Sorry. Was God a Trinity? Answer my question. What do you not God? Does your God Jesus a God? Answer. Yeah, it's just the same. Yeah, okay. are, you, are you done yet? Are you done yet? Are you no. done yet? Answer the question. Are you done? Are you done? No. Are you done? Answer the question. You're asking to ask. You're not done yet. What's no. going on? It's your, embarrassing. Wait. How did your it's God embarrassing. Mother, It's how embarrassing. How was your God born? So your, your God, God was born in Medina. I'm asking no, a question. No, I'm asking a question. Your God was born in Medina, your God and he got caught lacking. He no, died. Your, your prophet God died. Your God your died God in Medina. Born. Wait, how no, do you know I that Muhammad received revelations in the cave? You don't even know what you're talking about. You don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, man. Hey, was your God born? Hey, anybody want to ask this question was for your him? God born? Uh, and the old guy's lost his mind. Hey, you want to ask born? this question for him? Was your okay, God he's got another certain question. Was you want to ask a question? Do you want to ask a question? No, I want to know your answer. Was your God born? Was your God born? You want to ask a question? Answer. Was your God born? You got ask a question. Are you gonna ask a question? Did your God die? You gonna ask a question? He has answered. So Allah entered the seventh heaven. Was that would make you? him was a creation. Your God, you? your God entered creation. Your God Therefore, your God is limited. Hey, so me. when you bring arguments and faulty presuppositions like that wasn't allowing your metaphysics, hey, you boy. need to first hey, you support the presupposition that your God answer. first entered creation. Your God first entered creation. You don't understand logic. You don't understand logic. You don't understand logic. Allah is not there. Muhammad was a beautiful. Allah doesn't love you. Allah doesn't love you. Allah doesn't love you. Free, 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 free. When this will come up? Hold on. When did this become about Palestine? Free, free. Wait, wait. Osman, Osman. When this will come about Palestine? Hold on. Let's talk about Palestine right now. No, yeah. Yeah. No, I'm waiting for you to answer the question. No, you okay. answer me. Why did, did your God, God kill innocent did Jews? God Why did your God rape a little girl? Why are the Jews I, I just want to know that. Why are the Jews Forget Jews all of this stuff. Why are the Jews Forget all this stuff. I just want to know why your God was murdered by an innocent Jew. Can I ask you? Don't run, don't run no, to enemy. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. I'm standing right here. You're lying. You're scared. You're scared. No, I'm not. You're scared. You're scared. You're scared. So are you going to calm down? Are you going to calm down? Are you going to calm down? Did your God die? Let me ask you. Did your God die? Let me correct you. Let, that won't you be are. quiet, calm you down. down. It's alright, it's alright. It's alright. Right. It's okay. It's okay. Alright, are you gonna let me ask answer. you? Answer. Calm down. Yeah, let did your God die? Okay, let me ask that question. Yeah, did he die? Okay. Okay. According to the hadith of their prophet, Allah entered the seventh heaven. He's running, he's running. Why are you running? Why are you running? Why are you running, Shut up, Why are you running bro? I'll ask you a question. Why are you running to me? Why are you so scared? I'm not scared. Bro. I'm not scared. Okay, then listen yeah, to me then, bro. Stop running to me. Hey. Okay, calm down. Hey. It's okay. okay. It's okay. okay. Answer. Deep breath. Answer. Answer. <sighs> <sighs> deep breath, deep breath, deep breath, deep breath. Deep breath. Deep breath. Okay, okay. Howard, oh, I'm gonna ask you a question. What I'm gonna ask you a question. A Jew. I'm gonna do it. Okay. What your God a Jew? Allah, according to Muhammad, God entered the seventh heaven. That means that Allah is created. So according to your prophet, Allah is created. Liar, 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 liar. Was your God a Jew? Um, that's not befitting of a lady, is it? Liar, 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 liar. Is this befitting of a lady? Young man. Did your God die? Did your God die? Do your God die? Did your God enter creation? Did your God die? Did your God enter creation? You're running. You see, you're scared. You're scared. This is what I mean. They're all scared. They're all scared. Look at all. He's good. He's run for his life. He's run for his life. Papa is right. Bible says when you oh, 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 Bible says oh, cover yourself. Papa John is right. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. 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 Yeah. Hey, big man, big man, excuse me, excuse me. Okay, why not? Hey. I don't know. Usman's lost his mind. He ran away from me. No, Usman ran away from me. I don't know. 
This one got scared and ran for his life. You literally ran. You're a coward. Why is your god in the creation? Your god into the toilet. Why is your god into the toilet? Why is your god into the toilet? Why is your god have a womb? Like, let's talk about that. Why is your god have a womb? It's running again. What's going on? Osman, come on, Habibi. Osman, come on. <laughs> like, I normally wasn't waste time, but Osman's very old and impaired. And I just want to help you. I just want to help you in elderliness. So can we talk about how God into creation? He's running again. He's a runner, he's a trickster. We got that running out here. It's wild. Usman, you're coping hard. You're coping hard. You missed out on a good debate, Usman. You missed out. There's madness going on over here, man. Usman, you missed out, man. You missed out. You missed out, Usman. Because you're going into creation. Do you want to talk about that? You want to talk about Usman? Yeah, that's 1 Corinthians 11. You want to talk about 1 Corinthians 11? You want me to read it to you, Usman? Usman, do you want me to read out 1 Corinthians 11 to you and embarrass you? You want me to embarrass you, 1 Corinthians 11? Your head. You have to. <laughs> you have to the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 11 that a woman should cover her head when prophesying or praying. Now, notice what Usman said because there's an embarrassment. They pray too much. Hey, you pray too much. Hey, hey Usman, didn't your prophet have sex with a nine year old girl? Can we talk about that? The Bible doesn't say that. The Bible doesn't say that. The Bible doesn't say that. The Bible says shame on you for covering your head. The Bible says anybody who covers their heads are prostitutes. You know what I mean? So we got prostitutes around here. Do you believe that Muslim women are prostitutes? <laughs> Do you believe Muslim women are prostitutes? I'm Muslim women are prostitutes. I'm Muslim women are prostitutes. Why is your prophet treating prostitutes? Your prophet treats them as prostitutes. Why is your prophet treat Muslim women as prostitutes? Why is your prophet treat Muslim women as prostitutes? Why are you running after a woman? Why are you running after a woman? Come and deal with me. Come and deal with me, brother. Come. 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 Oh, yeah, you there, man. Come. Come. Why are you running? Why are you running? I'm Muslim women prostitutes. I'm Muslim women prostitutes. Your prophet said they were prostitutes. Your prophet said to take sex slaves. Would you take a sex slave, Usman? Usman, would you take a sex slave? Will Usman take a sex slave? Let's see if Usman will take a sex slave, even though he's dry and he's not seen action since 1995. Would Usman? Uh, Would Osman yeah. take a okay. prostitute? Okay. You're a I want to know that. No, Would Osman no, take a no, 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 prostitute? No, no, Let's see no, that. No, no, I'm Muslim no, no, women no, prostitutes. No, no, no. No, 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 everybody, no, no, everybody. No, no, look at all these guys no, coping. No, no, look at all no, these guys no, coping, bro. No, no, hey, listen, no, no, would, you take, no, would you take your daughter no, no, as a prostitute? No, no, would you take your daughter as a prostitute? Why is your prophet taking your daughter as a prostitute? Why is your prophet taking your daughter as a prostitute? Your prophet took your daughter as a prostitute. That's what he would have done. Your mother would have been a prostitute according to a prophet. Your mother would have been taken as a prostitute, my brother. Yeah, tell him. He's crying. He's crying. I don't know. They're crying. It's okay for you guys to chant, isn't it? Oh, it's fine. It's fine for these clowns to chant. That's fine. I want to go in a minute. Yeah. Oh, your wife's upset. By the way, guys, lying is not an argument. You have to actually back up what you say. Stop this chat and crap. This is not jihadi. This is not jihadi. Would you take your daughter as a prostitute? Would, Would you take your daughter as a prostitute? Would you take your daughter as a prostitute? Would you take your daughter as a prostitute? <laughs> Can you charge your phone? Charge your phone. What? Free, free. But Israel is kicking the ass. Is that the terrorist? Would you take your daughter as a prostitute? Like Muhammad did. Would you take your daughter as a prostitute? Would you take your daughter as a prostitute? Because with Israel. That's why no Islamic terrorism can destroy Israel. Hey, Osman, Osman, would you take your daughter as a prostitute? Would you take your daughter as a prostitute? No, would you take your daughter as a prostitute?
The doors are approaching you. Why did Muhammad say it's okay? Why did Muhammad say it's okay? Why did Muhammad say it's okay to take your daughter as a prostitute? What's wrong with that? Why did Muhammad say it's okay to take your daughter as a prostitute? I'm not touching touch anybody, Habibi. My hand right here. My hand's right here. I'm not touching anybody. I'm just standing here. Okay. Would it be okay? Usman, I'm asking you a question. He's speaking quiet. Well, I'm asking you a question. Would you take your daughter as a prostitute? That's the question I want to ask. Would you take your mother to be a prostitute? No, because I'm a Christian, not a Muslim. Because I'm not a Muslim. In Islam, you can't take them to prostitutes. I can show you. Surah 4, verse 24. You can take women as prostitutes. You can take women as prostitutes. Surah 4, verse 24. Look, we have a squad of cheerleaders, little girls crying. Top beer. What would you take? You would you take your daughter to the prostitute? That's the question I asked you. I want to know it. Would you take your daughter to the prostitute? Okay, your prostitute took little girls to the prostitute. Your prophet took little girls as prostitutes. Do you want to talk about that? Do you want to talk about it? Your mother would have been taken as a prostitute by Muhammad. Muhammad would have raped your mother. That's not what happened. Muhammad would have raped your mother. Muhammad would have raped your mother. Police is watching. I mean, I'm just saying the truth. I'm saying the truth. So the match was in peace. I'm saying the truth. Their mother would have been taken as a prostitute. Muhammad would have raped his mother. Muhammad would have raped his mother. Your Muhammad said to rape those girls. Your mother was a prostitute. Sir Bakari 5134. Perfect door, by the way. Perfect door. Perfect dollar, by the way. You just have a crowd behind you. You just have a mob behind you. He has a crowd of nut schools behind him. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't feel comfortable with the police watching to see if anything is going to happen. No, no, that's not going to happen. I'm just mocking him. I'm just mocking him. Look. Fundamentally, look, they couldn't deal with Sire Bakari 5134. Would you take your daughter as a prostitute? According to the Quran and the Hadith, you can. You can literally take your daughter as a prostitute. That's why they don't want to debate me. That's why they got to chant like little cheerleaders. Because literally, when it comes to their own sources, we bury them. And I just want to say one thing, yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. we're going to close soon. I want to say that, you know, we're not here to be uh, Israeli apologists. But I will say this to you. Israel it is the strongest army in the world. Okay, we can't deny that, you know. They're a little country of 8 million people. They've destroyed all the Islamist terrorism. They've managed to destroy it. every single war against Israel. They've won, every single one of them. And uh, there will come a time, when the end time is coming, that they will besiege Jerusalem. They will come into Jerusalem. But when they do that, Jesus is coming back and he will fight for them. It's in the Bible, it's Bible prophecy. And the Bible says that God will avenge Israel against all nations that will fight against it. So it's Bible prophecy. Um, we need to support Israel. I'm not here to defend Benjamin Yatu. I'm not here to, I'm here to just say what the Bible says. And as Christians, we have a responsibility to tell the Jewish people, to tell the Muslim people, or any other unsaved person, that Jesus loves them, they must be born again. But as Christians, we have to also stand with Israel, okay? The four horses in Revelation, they are, they represent the Palestinian flags, the red, yellow, green, black, they're the Islamic nation's flags. And we see them in the four horses of destruction in the book of Revelation. Unfortunately, John came back to debate um, uh, whatever his name is, Usman. We have something half rolling there, but I keep her. I don't want to be accused that she's batting somebody because she barks a lot. Is your mother a prostitute? Is your mother a prostitute?
Why would your prophet say you can take sex slaves of little girls? You want to talk about that? Well, I'm waiting for you to be quiet. Are you going to be quiet? Are you going to be quiet? I will tell him. Tell him to be quiet and then I'll say it. Okay. Let's talk about it. Okay, but I'll lie. Prove it. I'll prove it right now. I'll prove it right now. So you're going to show up? Are you going to show up? Are you going to show up so I can tell you? You're too scared. You're too scared. You're too scared. You're too scared. You're just too scared. No, he's got... What's the Bible? I think the Quran is. The Quran is how you put it. Are you are you done? Are you done? Yeah, are you done? Okay, I just got one question. No, no. Your prophet said you could. Your prophet said you could. Why are you cursing? Your Muhammad said you should curse. Your Muhammad said you should curse. You're going against your prophet. You're going against your prophet. He's being racist as well. Black, black Muslim. Is there a case to call me a jungle boy? Are you black? Come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here. He just called me a jungle boy. He just called me a jungle boy. Is that okay? He just called me a jungle boy. Is that okay? It's okay to be racist. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. Bye -bye. What did I lose? What did I lose? What did I lose? What did I lose? All I did was prove that his prophet literally said you can text sex slaves, and all they did was shout liar. That's funny, isn't it? Why do you have Muslims? Why? Because you don't actually know how to read. None of you guys know how to read, so all you can do is shout liar. Now, do you want me to prove to you that your prophet took sex slave? Do you want me to prove that to you? You had a lot to say, so we're going to see if I'm a liar or your prophet is a liar. Which one? Which, which one? Am I lying or your prophet? Which one? You think I'm lying? You think I'm lying? Come on, come on. So when you curse, do you know who you're cursing? You're going to Satan. Can you answer that? Hell, 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 you're cursing I'm yourself. I'm cursing you. Yeah. I'm saying you are going to hell. It's not what it's you confirmed. It's not what? Hold on. I'm confirming. What is confirming? You're what what confirmed it? He's going to hell. No, I'm asking a question. What confirms me going to hell? What confirms I'm it? telling you. No, I'm asking it's you. What confirms it? The are you God? Written, you are you going God? To hell. The you talk too much. Ask some more. Listen more. On the left. I understand, bro. I'm not lying to you. You're, you're just, I don't even know what you're talking about. But you know, Quran doesn't teach you this. I'm telling you The Quran that. doesn't say that. You're going to hell. It teaches you to smile in my I'm face not, I'm and smiling. to curse me in your heart. The I'm Quran not says not to even curse my to, mother. I'm trying to help the hadith you. says if you can curse somebody's mother, it's bad for you. From the hellfire, I swear. So Muhammad said don't I'm curse people's mothers. What do you want to do? I'm trying to say that. Exactly, Kalafaya. exactly. I'm trying to say did did Muhammad say don't curse people's first. mothers? I'm not, I'm not cursing you. No, I'm not saying you. I'm Usman saying, did. I'm Usman cursed my mother. Yeah, yeah, okay. So is he, is he a Muslim for cursing no, my mother? You also cursing because him. Muhammad you, says you in his hadith that he shouldn't curse people's mothers. I didn't. I said, could you have sex? Could you, your daughter be taken as a sex slave? I said, could your daughter be taken as a sex slave? I wasn't even insulting his mother. I was answering a basic question. If he told me no, no, then I would have answered from the hadith. That was the question. He didn't want to answer it. Instead, he decides, you, you guys decide to sign liar. You don't even know what you're talking about. So instead, why don't you actually listen to the arguments presented? But that, my guy, that doesn't, that doesn't absolve your crime over me saying something that's true. Okay, so instead, instead of shouting liar, why don't you ask me, okay, what are you talking about? That's how a conversation so starts. Him, like I was asking like him, yeah, could I take your daughter? Is that a That's question a to question. ask? That's a wrong yes, a it's a good ask. question to no. ask. You know why? Is because the Quran says wife? you can take sex like names. Like I've read it myself. Exactly. Chapter 4, verse 24. Read it again. I've already read it. I can read it out to you. It says that you can take sex names. 
Sex slaves? Yep, in the Quran. I can show you that. In fact, my phone, my wife has my phone, so I'm going to have to go and get it. But my, on my phone, you can read it. So at 4 verse 24, if you want, you can get a Quran from the Dawah store. It's saying the same thing. If you want, you can get it yourself. Yeah, no problem. I'm not making stuff up. That's what it says. And according to Sahih Bukhari, the reason why that verse was sent down, it's very important, the reason why that verse was sent down was so that Muhammad's men could have legal sex with women they captives. Okay, That's the according to Sahih Bukhari. It's Surah 2, verses 24. So instead of shouting at old men, I wanted them to listen carefully because I wasn't just speaking in the vacuum. Okay, so it Everything says I here, said is there. It says here, uh, but if you are unable to do so, and I'm sorry, sure sorry, it's... Surah 4, verse 24. Ah, my bad, my bad. Surah 4, verse 24. One minute, Amy, one minute. Yeah, instead of crowding around people calling them liars, let's actually get some okay, conversation going. So let's, let's read the verse which you are talking about. Yeah, let's and go. And see what it says. Of course. Okay, so it says, And also forbidden to you are all married women, except those women whom your right hands have come to possess. So they would be captives, right? This is Allah's decree and it is binding upon you. Yep, exactly. So that's why I was asking, well, would you allow me to take your daughter as a sex slave? Not to try and antagonize him, but I was asking him a basic question and he didn't want to answer. You know, so those are captives, there's no way to get around with it. Even if it says in war, they are still captives. Okay, so would yeah. you be okay with However, that? However, basically what you're doing here is you're redefining the worst so you well, have them it says captive well it's it clearly it 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 does not mention without you know like forcefully or anything like that it, well, but hold on these wait. are captives what are you talking about yeah captives like they're war captives but not you know what you're talking about did they want you to kill their husbands let's say you're back in seventh well, century Medina. War, right? did they it's want you to kill their husbands it's a and war. to take them I mean, okay, I understand it's a war, yeah. but this is important. Just because it's war doesn't make it right. Okay, Muhammad is saying, or Allah is saying, you can take these women, you can take them as captives in a war, okay, and that would be okay. And that's the question I was asking Osman. Would you be okay if I came into your house and took your, your daughter? Your daughter war, right? you have, that's a war setting. So you have to. What do you think a war is? When people like, battle. Battle, right. And if it's I, like this. On battle, it's like people used to no, fight with swords and like in person, not like send I'm sorry. missiles and everything. No, no, jihad historically, when, when, the, Jew, when the Jews in the Banu Kreza went against the Prophet, the Prophet didn't go after him at first. He then waited until they were unaware and then went and then took captives from them, like Sufaya bin Huye, who was a sex slave taken captive from amongst Muhammad's men. That's just, that's given in the, in the Sahih Hadith and I've read it. Well, the, the worst you're referring to is not what you're what you were asking him. So I was asking, would you allow me to take your daughter as a sex slave? That's what I was asking. That's a stupid question. That's a stupid question. How is it stupid? It's related to what the Quran says. No, it does not say. Yes, it is. The Quran says I, would, I can take sex slaves. I, I would so I'm asking, him, would you allow me to take sex slaves? I would recommend you to understand the Quran before asking questions to other people. Not how is that? Quran. Look, how is it that the Quran That's says that I can take a sex slave and take that captive, and that it'd be not okay to, for me to ask Usman, the word, Can I take the your word daughter's which you captive? Are using is not correct. So the Quran's not correct then. You're not correct. No, but hold on. The Quran says the same thing. No, it does not. Yes, it does. It says it says I can take a captive. I mean, okay, Whatever so my right hand possesses, I can take captive. But it doesn't say sex slave, right? What, what, what do you think they're doing with those captives? And this is why, of course, I need to get my phone. Amy's got my phone. Because there are hadith about this Quranic verse, which suggests the reason why it was sent down is because of what of, of the situation in which Muhammad's men wanted to have sex with these women. But they couldn't because they, they were aware, they, their consciousness, they were aware of what was going on. They were aware that they just murdered their family. So I'm trying to get... Amy, can I get my phone, please? Phone. Yeah, which verse is it? It's Saya Bakari. I need to get Sire on my phone. Yeah. Wait, well, let me have a look at it. Yeah, uh, no problem. Yeah. Um.
Okay, let's get up. Okay, um, let me just get up here. Okay, so this is um, Sunan Abidal with my bad. I thought it was Al Bukhari. Maybe it's mirrored in Al Bukhari because yeah. there's like seven authentic hadith oh, okay. uh, collections. But this is Sunan Abidal with 2155. I'll get up on the actual site so you know it's, I'm not just making it up. Yeah. Okay, um, connection might be a bit weird here. Yeah, there it is. So this is a Muslim site. It's called Sunan.com. I did not yeah, make it. Yeah. Um, so it says here. Sunan Abu Dawood 2155. Abu Sa'id al Qudri said the Apostle of Allah sent a military expedition into Altos. Oh, bro. Oh, bro, don't, don't let Siraj interrupt you. Don't let Siraj interrupt you. Don't let Siraj interrupt you. He wants to run you away. Whoa, bro. Why are you letting him walk away? Is he your nanny? <laughs> come on, come on. You're a big man. Come on, big man. Come on, big man. He's so scared. Unfortunately, yeah, if, you, if you don't know, you didn't see on camera. Basically, Siraj led him away. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to interrupt Siraj's conversations because of what Siraj did. Okay, Siraj, because you interrupted my conversation, I'm going to interrupt every conversation you have today. No, no, I didn't no you did. I was talking to no, 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 you entered the conversation. You interrupted my conversation. So I'm going to ex enter every conversation you have. I'm going to interrupt it, okay? You know what I did last year? I'm going to do it again. I'm going to be a nuisance to you. We're going to do this. I like it. Okay, we're going to do that. Everybody you're preaching Dawah to, I'm going to interrupt it. Jesus is one. Jesus is God. Exactly. I've got a mic. Widow. So I'm going to interrupt your conversation. Yeah, 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 yeah. You shouldn't have done that. Now you've incurred the wrath of blood fire. I'm going to you. come after you now. You. Yeah? Don't worry about him. Don't worry about him. Okay, I'm coming you for you. Speak to these people that making a, what, what, uh, who was interrupting these people? No, it was Siraj. He was interrupting me. So I'm coming for him. Yes, I'm coming for him. I'm going to come for him. Sir. I just want to say to you, I can't force you to speak, but you know, you're not, you're going to be facing God, Jesus Christ, on your own. This dude who is sent by Satan, he's not going to be there with you. Your mother, your dad will not be there for you. You're, you're being led by somebody who's misleading you. God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You should have your own mind. You should have your own mind. Your mother, your mother, your sister, your daughter will be sex slave in China. This is what they will be. Even your daughter, if she dies, as a neighbor, I hope not with you. She will be a sex slave. That's what Islam teaches. But that's what Islam teaches. That's what Islam teaches. Why was it your prophet allowed him to suck The Bible says, the Bible says, men and women are equal, and we will be like angels. And there is no nothing carnal in heaven. Why is it your prophet that we will? Anyway. Um, unfortunately, you know, G Siraj interrupted because he's a demon. But again, I'll say, Jesus Christ is not going to say to you, Oh, you didn't have the guts to come and listen to the message. Oh, he's not going to care. He's, you can't say that somebody like Siraj interrupted me. My mom and dad believed in a false gospel, in a false religion. You will have no excuse unless you have a severe disability, unless you die. As a, at a young age, that you don't have the capacity to make up your own mind, you will have you know, no excuse. If you hear the gospel and you reject it, you will go to hell. All right? And the number one people going to hell in the Bible, they're the cowards and then the unbelievers. You know, cowardice is people who don't, you don't have the strength to speak out, to listen. You have to be strong. Only a minority of people go to hell. You need to be strong enough and say no. I remember once I spoke to a very meek young man. You know, he was asking me questions. He was very humble and meek. And you know what? Siraj couldn't take him away. You know, he somehow managed to get rid of Siraj and he stayed. Most of the people that Siraj interrupts, they get taken away, unfortunately. But you have to be strong. You have to find out for yourself. 
what is the true religion, who is the true God. You, you have to do it, okay? Because you will have no excuse. Well, just, you can't just, blame other people, you can't just, blame uh, other things, whatever. It's just about a fear, really. That's what he's doing it. Because to be honest, I don't because mind. Islam is a cult. Like, if, for example, if a Muslim spoke to Amy, I wouldn't worry because I know Amy knows the word of God. So no, I don't but you did that. interrupt me. <laughs> when, what, today? When I spoke to Uncle... Yeah, but Usman's a swine, though. Let's be honest. Like, he just—he's been here for thirty years, saying the same sort of nonsense. So I was just Jesus like, "Look, God. did I, your God die?" No, I don't just ask him. Basic, one hundred. Okay, okay. So would you allow me to sleep with your daughter? That's it. I don't want to talk about all this stuff about Jesus dying. I don't care. We've spoken about that a million times. Let's talk about Hadith. All right, seriously. If you can take sex slaves in Islam, let's talk about that. I don't want to talk about like Jesus and all this stuff. I don't care about that stuff. You want to talk about Jesus? We spoke to him. I want to find James because I need to talk. Oh, yeah, yeah. James, James is over there. James Where? is over there. Here. Yeah. Okay. You don't believe in Jesus or the Bible. I believe in Jesus. But you don't believe in the Jesus of the Bible. That's the thing. You believe in a false Jesus. Because this Jesus came from Muhammad. Because it came from Muhammad. That Jesus wasn't the truth. He wasn't. That's what the Quran says. The Quran's alive. How do I know the Quran's true? You're gonna see. You're gonna the Bible see. was centuries before the Quran. The Bible, according to the Bible, you see, you are dying. Right, but the Bible was centuries before the Quran. So why should I trust it? No, no, no. The Bible is just written by ordinary people. Right. How do you know that? How do you know the Quran? So that's wild. This is the thing. That's her phone and her head. So that's just mud. Okay, we're back. So that's wild. This is the thing. That's her phone and her head. So that's just mud. Okay, we're back. We're back. We're back. Okay. No, no, no. I don't know whether it's going to continue on with this. Yeah, it's live. It's live. It is okay now? Yeah, they're going to come back. They're going to come back. They're going to come back. That's fine. No, no, it's working. It's working. It's working. But if you want to run, you can. If you want to run, you I was just asking you about Surah 4 verses 24. That's it. Why is it that your prophet said you're allowed to sex, take sex slaves? Why is that okay and that's a perfect law? Explain that. Your accent is a little problem for me. I don't know what. what I'm, I'm speaking perfect English, so if, you're, if my accent is a problem no, no, for you. No, you are too loud and sp speak slowly. What I'm is speaking it? clearly. Okay, what is Most it? people don't understand what I say. Okay, what is it? So maybe it's because you haven't lived it long. I don't know how long you've been in this country, okay? I'll be very clear of what I say. According to chapter 4, of what? verses 24 of the Quran, or Surah An Nisa, ayah 24. It says you can take sex slaves, sex captives, okay? If that is the case, okay, how is that a perfect law when it would lead to the torture and rape of many women? How can it be torture? Well, think about it. Did those men want to sleep with your prophet? Sorry, did those women want to sleep with your prophet's men? Hold on a second. Well, look up. That's the question I'm asking. I'm asking the question. Did those women want to sleep oh. with your prophet's your men? Ignorance over ignorance over ignorance. You haven't proved I'm ignorant. You've just said it. You just made you a statement. You're making so much noise. You're you've frightened just of made a statement. Answer. You're frightened of my answer. This was a problem. I'm really not. You've you haven't talked. given an answer. You've talked. So you're going to answer it? Of course. Okay, go this ahead. It's easy. Go ahead. It's an easy. It's not a problem at all. It's not a problem at all. For me, this is not a question at all. It's an easy question. I'm waiting. Look, like wait, okay. See, first of all, the problem is that you, if, if a person is, says sex is a good thing or a bad thing, this is the first step. It is thought bad if it's not done it properly. If, if you just go to a woman and make a contract with her, some kind of a God allows that, it becomes a good thing. That's called prostitution. That's all the thing. And see, there's a contract. If you make a contract, I marry you, you become your wife and all that. It depends. Why, why would I want to, if it, it, you have to put yourself in the mind, of, let's say your own you daughter, so imagine your own daughter was taken you're, you're, by, as a captive I'm by your prophet. I'm imagining it. If, okay, if, so if, your, your prophet's men run into your daughter's house, you they are, take her and they want to sleep with her. Would you be okay with them giving her a dowry of a piece of bread? You are so ignorant in your system. What you're not you answering any you questions are, I just because said. Because you are so frightened of me. I'm really you're not. You're just not answering. Not. Because you ask. You don't know how to maintain conversation. That's the, that's the point. <laughs> because this is the problem with you Christians. Because you have nothing at all. Well, you've problem. not brought, and you haven't even brought a tab here. You're just doing bitter on the Quran. All noise, noise, And aren't you a Kajani anyway, so you guys are fooling out of fashion. No, you are allowing so much adultery. You're just personal attacking. Your prophet said. He said you can no, take no, sex are, slaves. He said you can take captives said, and sleep with them. 
Are you okay with that? that I'm, all I'm saying is, you, you, let, don't wait, you have done so much in the, you know, in the, in the world, you have made adultery a law. What does that have to do with your prophet saying in his Quran that you can take sex slaves? What does that have to do with anything? You're not answering the question. You're just, you're just spilling. You're just spilling. You're going to run? Okay. Okay, goodbye. You have to run. They have to run. They have to run. I'm standing right here. I'm standing right here. Running is not no, no, running he's running. He's diverting the point. I'm asking about his prophet sleeping with a nine-year-old. I'm asking about his prophet saying it's okay to say sex slaves. He's running for his life. And this is what Christians are doing. What Christians? You want to talk about it? You want to talk about it? Of course I know. Of course. It's a diversion of the topic. Do you want to talk about it? Which Christian? Which Christian? There are no Christians. Why is a Christian? Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. Go over. You make make sense. Go outside. What? Come on, come on. <laughs> you're just laughing for this place. My friend, there's a reason why your prophet because, said because women should be covered up. According to your hadith, which I know you don't read because you're Qajani, but your hadith literally say the reason why women were covered up because one woman was having a poo and your prophet got horny over her. That's literally what it says in the hadith. You literally don't know what you're talking about. You're just cussing. That was so. I was asking about the Quran, and your whole argument was there's other adulterers. Who cares about that? Your God is an adulterer. He wants me to live in a brothel for all eternity. Allah is telling me to come to Jannah and have sex with 73 horny, translucent women. That's what Allah wants me to do. Allah wants me to have sex. Can everybody get his guy on camera? Because Allah wants me to have sex with 73 women. He wants me to pipe down 73 women, and this guy's calling me an adulterer. That don't make no sense to me, Lord. That don't make no sense to me. He wants me to have sex, isn't it? If you become a Muslim, what do you get in general? If I become a Muslim? Yes, if you become a Muslim, what do you get in general? What do you mean? What is that? According to a hadith, you get 72 women. Translucent. You get Beautiful. 72 women? Yes. I don't know what, what tradition you come from. You Sunni, Ashari, Afari, I'm a whatever. Muslim, bro. You're just a Muslim. a Muslim. I know that Jannah is a place of reward. Do you, do you affirm so the hadith? I don't know that there's a mount of women that do you, you get. Do you affirm the hadith? Okay, come on. The, 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 the amount of women that... First of all, I'm not as knowledgeable as other people in the park. Do you affirm the hadith? Do you affirm the hadith? You gotta listen to him? Is he your mommy? You can't listen to me. About that. Is it like, you can't listen to me. Is it like, is this a discussion or is it like? It is a discussion. I'm not forcing anything. Right. What I'm so saying is that's what your prophet said. Others, right? If you get rewards in Jannah, right? Let's say this Allah exists and He's giving women to the believers. What's the issue? It's a place of reward. It's not a 72 virgin or 300. Well, that's what want, the hadith said. If you want. So you'll be going against your own prophet. I don't. Show me the hadith first of all. Let's see. Okay, let me get my actual phone. I have to get my phone for my wife. So just stay there. Don't run. Don't run. Don't run. Don't turn and run. Can I get my phone? The Bible says that if you fight with Israel. Okay. Okay. Well, if nobody's running, then you're going to stay here. And then I'll see that. You know what I mean? Actions speak louder than words, man. Regardless of. I don't, I don't get this whole number of virgins thing. But if you want hundreds of women as, a, as part of your reward in Jannah. If I want one woman, one woman. Why, why is Allah giving me a brothel to sleep with? Yeah, because I know pretty well. Yeah, he will able to manage 73 women. So yes, like, bro, I don't want 73 women. I've got you, one beautiful listen, one. I'm fine want, with that. If you want one beautiful woman, then what's I don't want, I want to want 73 women. Because I don't want to live in a brothel. And God didn't give me a brothel. God said you'll receive eternal life through him, which is more perfect than any brothel. Bro, what's up with the brothel thing? So, what's up with the brothel thing? Don't talk about it. You go, Jenna, you want your one woman, you're allowed to, do you think God would be like, no, not one woman, you have to have seven No, 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 God doesn't allow, God allows us to be angels in heaven, that's the difference. You see, the difference with Christianity is that Christianity is centered on Christ, it's centered on God. God does not want a brothel. Is Christ God? Yes, of course, yes. I just want to show you that. Before, this is Sunan Ibn Majah. I may have said, I'm um, sorry, Bukhari, my bad, but I think it's in my Bukhari, actually. Sunan Ibn Majah, volume five, Book 37, Hadith 4337. You can look it up yourself, or you can even screenshot it. Everyone that God admits into paradise, this is everybody, will be married to 72 wives. Two of them are Hori's, and 70 of his inheritance of the female dwellers of hell. So no, not only will two of them be Hori's, 70 of them will come out of hell. 
That's what the hadith says. I don't write this hadith, that's what it says. I think this hadith is wrong. Did you check the authentic Sahih hadith? Yes, Sunni Ibn Dawn with the Sahih. You know, you see, you, this is the thing. When the modern Muslim has a hadith rejector, I simply claim that according to Surah An Nam, the Quran. No, no, I'm, I'm I mean, you can't reject it anyway. Yeah, exactly. According to Surah Al-Nam Quran, no hadith rejected. That's literally what it states: is that whatever yeah. whatever Muhammad says What's is wahi. Let me, Let me get it up again. Sunan Ibn Majah. Um, it says disputed by some scholars. What? On AI. Does that it's, mean it's, it's not? AI. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what I don't know what what scholar that is. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I'm just getting up on here. So let me show you what it says here. I'm going to go to the history. It also says you get 80,000 servants. I don't think that means 80,000 slaves that go around. Well, what do, you, do. what do you think a servant is? A servant, someone who serves you. So it's very basic, it's very easy. The point yeah. is, it's a place of reward. Why, why are all these great rewards that say some people do want 100 women? What's the issue? Well, the question is, why would God provide for mankind a paradise of lustful endeavors when that surely isn't a reward? Think about it. I want so to think eternal right reward is not a place of reward? What, what would yeah. eternal sex mean to somebody? No, 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 not eternal sex. It's well, that's what I thought. All you're doing in heaven is sex. If you want to have sex, you're allowed to have sex. That's a, you get choice to do whatever reward you want. Mm. It's not that you're forced to have sex with 72 women. Uh, of course. Well, that, that's the thing. It says you are. It says every man who enters... Forced to have 72 yeah, and by the way, Sunan Ibn Majah, Volume 5, Book 37. Hadith okay, first for... Of all, okay, let's go one by one. Yeah, so Sunan Ibn Majah. Okay, so we take the Quran out. It doesn't mention a number of virgins. It doesn't mention a number of virgins. It, it does mean. mention that there'll be gardens full of beautiful maidens. That's what it says. Okay, sure. Okay. That bad? What, Wait, the, what's, what what's the difference in, is... What's the in your Christian is, heaven? The Christian heaven is us in heaven? engaging in a beautiful vision. We in become what? close to God. We initiate and become a part of God Himself. No, but the reward section. What do you get as rewards in Christian? We don't, we don't get a sexual reward in heaven. No, the reward, sexual, reward, the reward is eternal peace and love with our Creator. So there's no sex in heaven, according to No, Christ. no, sex is a human thing. The reason why sex exists, even according to the Quran in some aspects, the reason why human human sex exists is to procreate, is to bring life into the world. Yeah. But that's not what's going on in heaven because heaven is eternal. So there is no sex in Christian heaven? There's no desire to want to have sex because you're in the presence of God. Imagine having sex in front of God. Would you do that? I, I don't know. Heaven is like... I mean, I, 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 I I'm, I'm just saying that that's what a hadith says. If, I, I thought in every religion, heaven is a place of ultimate reward and hell is a place of ultimate punishment. In my mind, bro, we're, we're talking about... But why does the, here's the thing. Why does the reward have to be an eternal sexual paradise? According to Elisa's hadith, why does it have to be that? Why would no, no, anybody no, want that? In the Quran, it doesn't just say you get you get virgins and you get sex for etern eternality. You get other stuff as well, like you said, rivers, gold, probably, I don't know. Well, Whatever the hadith are the desire. sayings of Muhammad, which is wahi. So it's not just a hadith now. No, no, no. This hadith, it's not just a hadith. No, no, no. Because you're talking about the 72 virgins. Hadith. Yeah, yeah, I was talking about 72 virgins. And now it says everyone that God admits into paradise, we marry to 72 wives. That's what it says. So if that's the case, then you can literally... Yeah, why, why does it say that some scholars dispute it? If it's so like, you know, Scholars everything. dispute made that hadith. For example, do you accept everything in Sayyid Bukhari? Yeah, everything so, in Sayyid Bukhari. Yeah. Everything in Sayyid Bukhari. Everything. Everything. So that includes, you know, Aisha being six Bukhari, years old. Right? No, it's not, it's not. Okay. I'm, just, I'm using that as an example. Yeah, yeah. So you accept, for example, Aisha being six years old when Muhammad married her at nine years old. So he had sex with her at nine years old when, uh, and, she, and they were married at six years old. Do you accept that? Yeah, I do accept that. You accept that? You accept it That's no. interesting. Yeah, I'll tell That's you interesting. Yeah, yeah. Okay, go on, okay. go on, go on. I understand why it sounds weird to us, right? Because, look, I'm a Muslim, and it's my prophet. Would I get with a nine-year-old right now? No, I wouldn't. I think there's something going on there, so yeah. Um, see, Sean, can you justify the raping of a nine-year-old girl? Can you justify the chai boys in sorry, Afghanistan? Sorry, sorry, the chai boys. What are the chai boys? They're British. See, Sean, you, can you justify the raping of a nine-year-old girl? I was actually about to ask. Can you justify the raping of a nine-year-old girl? 
Can you do it on camera, please? An eight-year-old died. Can you justify the about, raping of a nine-year-old girl? Because according to your according to your side hadith, Muhammad was nine. Muhammad married. What's the say your hadith? Married. What's the say your hadith? Sahih hadith. Did you not listen to me? No, you said say your hadith. I said Sahih hadith. You're not listening. I heard your language. Okay. According to Sahih hadith, Sahih Bukhari, five one three four. Your prophet's words, dude. Do you know what your prophet's nonsense? Oh, so your prophet's words are nonsense. Like your prophet's words are nonsense. Your prophet married and had sex everyone with a nine-year-old girl. So are you okay with raping a nine-year-old girl? Are you okay with that? It was marriage at six and sex at nine. Is it okay to have sex with a nine-year-old girl? Would a nine-year-old girl have sex? Would a nine-year-old girl have sex? Would you sell your own daughter to have sex with? You guys are running away from what I'm saying. You're running away from what I'm saying. Okay. A little girl, a little girl is not old enough for you to mount. Why are you so scared about the Palestine topic? A little girl is not old enough for you to rape. Your prophet has sex with her. Don't run to Amy just because you don't want to deal with this topic. Why are you running to Amy? Amy, don't run to Amy. Wait, 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 don't let's tell you. You need her help. You run away from what I'm saying. I'm, I'm literally talking to you about Muhammad having sex with a nine year old girl. Amy, Amy, do me a favor. Do me a favor. Don't be a K. Don't listen to me. She's trying to divert. She's sad because of how ugly you are. Now let's get back to the point. Okay. Yeah, I mean, she's sad in the state of the world. If Muslims this ugly are coming here, let's be honest. Okay. So, Sarah Bakari, 5134. Why is it your prophet has sex with a nine-year-old girl? Do you want to answer that? Why does your prophet teach you to have sex with a child? Why does your prophet teach you to have sex with a child? You're not made in the image of God. You're made in the image of Satan because that's your father. That's your father, Satan. Your father, Satan. Yes. Yes, your father, Satan. What's going to happen to me? Your prophet was saying when he had sex with a nine-year-old girl, that was a satanic act. The Bible clearly stipulates that you have to be over the age of puberty, not under it. What's going to happen to me? Yes. Of course. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 37. Speaking to I'm speaking to both of you. He answered the question. What's going to happen to me? What's going to happen to you? Yeah. According to the Bible, you'll go to hell. That's oh, where you belong. Okay. For and preaching a false the, gospel. Okay. Okay. As a Christian, do no, you no, believe... No, no, no. The question is, that, look, as a Muslim, do you, do you believe, believe Jesus that Muhammad was a prophet that was valid, even though he had sex with a nine-year-old girl? Is Jesus eternally generated from You're the You're talking about Trinitarian dogmatics. I'm talking about your prophet you mounted a nine-year-old. You believe in it? Trinitarian? You're talking about Trinitarian dogmatics. It's a, it's a sideway. That's nothing to do what I said. Dogmatics? Yes, that's nothing that to do with what believe in, though? That's nothing to do with what I just it's said. It's got nothing to do with the belief. No. It's got nothing to do with what I just said. What did I just say, Jesus? I want to know what about What was I belief. talking about, Jesus? I don't care about the... Oh, you don't care about your prophet? Nonsense. Okay, so we've got a Muslim on camera saying about. he doesn't care about what a prophet thinks. I okay, don't that's care fine. about the nonsense So do you agree bringing. that your prophet I has sex with nine year Do you Do you agree your prophet has sex with nine year Do you agree Jesus said that is in the Bible? Is it okay? Is it okay? Numbers 3118. Numbers 3118 isn't talking about sex, you weirdo. No, 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 Keep the little ones for yourself. Show me where it says I've sex with them. Oh, show, me that. The exact word. show me that. Bring it up. Oh, let's, Bring it up. Let's, Bring it up. Show me the Hebrew. Your prophet has sex with nine year old. Show me where it says that. Is that the Hebrew? The Hebrew doesn't say that either. Is that in Hebrew? You don't know what you're talking about. Is that in Hebrew? Show me that. Show me that in Greek. Read the Bible. Show me that in Hebrew. Read the Bible in Greek. The Bible, the Septuagint was sent up by the Greeks. Read the Bible in Greek. The Jews specifically Greek. Read the Bible in Greek. Are you going to shout at me? You Read the Bible in Greek. You can't listen. Oh, so now you can't take my shouting. No, 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 you, you can't, can't take my shouting. And suddenly you the thing is, you can't take the fact that you your prophet mounted a nine-year-old girl. Read the Here's Bible the thing, Zishan. You don't want to deal with the, the fact that your prophet said that you can mount a nine-year-old girl. He doesn't want to deal with that. According to Sarah Bakari 5, 1, 3, for Muhammad mounted and raped a nine-year-old. So you are okay with a man mounted and raped a nine-year-old? Preach the gospel in Greek. Go. Preach the gospel. I don't need to. I'm not a Muslim. I'm not a Muslim. I'm not a Muslim. Oh. I'm not a Muslim. So ask Jesus me Christ to read the can Quran speak anything. Arabic. You see, the difference is the God, can speak, God can speak every language. Your God can't speak any language. Your God is stuck in Arabic. Okay. The other thing. You believe in the fact that Muhammad slept with a nine year old. Oh, that he slept with this and this happened. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's Just okay. Any Muslim can look up themselves. I'm an adult. Your prophet was a child. He needs to have a sex with a Muslim woman. He needs to have sex with a Muslim girl. To smash infants' head on rocks.
Is it okay to smash the heads of infants and rock? It's okay to smash them. Is it okay to kill them? It's okay to smash them. It's okay to smash them. So what's worse? What's worse? You're changing the subject because you're scared. For having sex. So Zishan, instead of changing the conversation, why don't you deal with having sex with a child as your prophet did? Which is worse according to you. Okay, we could talk about the Bible all day. But you will run you away to from the topic of the you Bible Quran because you hate your prophet. You can't answer. You hate your prophet. You, you hate your prophet. You hate your prophet. The reason why is because you're scared of that pedophile prophet that you believe in. You know what I mean? You're scared of your prophet who's a pedophile. To kill babies. So because she's scared, he's bringing in a different topic. I'm answering about his prophet, Isaiah Makari, five, one, three, baby. four, having sex with a child. If he doesn't want to answer that, I'll walk away. Because you're scared of it. You see, according to your Quran, you can take sex slaves, Surah 4, verse 24 of the Quran. Okay. How many people do you two bring to Christianity the way you two Many, trust me. But I don't bring anybody to Christianity. Jesus does. Really? Yes, really. Really. I'm not talking about here, bro. I'm an evangelist. I'm not care about here. I'm an evangelist. Here is not my only evangelism. You guys are with. Zishan, do you want to deal with the question I asked you? Do you want to deal with my question? Do you reject the Sahih Hadith? Do you want to deal with my question? Or am I just here to be interrogated by you? I'm asking one. Oh, 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 I want to. No, no. Zishan, here's what I do. Here's what I do. I will answer your question. I will respond. Okay. I'll ask your question. However, after you answer mine. You're going to come. And you're going to interrogate. I will be calm with you. I want to have a calm discussion with you. So I'll ask you a conversation with you. Yeah, we can. We can have a conversation. But I want to start with doctrine. Okay, let's go. Doctrine is I'll talk about, I'll, I'll talk all about it. I want to ask this question. Do you accept wow. yes. all of the hadith, the Sahih hadith? Do we accept all of that? There's no criteria in which you say all of the hadith is Sahih according to every single scholar. I said, so do you accept all the Sahih hadith? That's what I said. You said you're calm. You said I said, do you accept all the Sahih hadith? I didn't say you said that all the hadith are Sahih. You're misinterpreting what I said. I haven't finished my answer. How can I be accused of this? Because you answered a wrong way. You answered if I had said to you that all hadith were Sahih. I didn't say that. I literally said that do you accept Sahih hadith? Do you want to answer you, it? You asked me to answer. Do you answer. want to answer it? I was answering, Do you want to answer it? but yet you cut me in the Do you middle and you're, you're just telling crying. me. Do you want to answer it? You're not interested in answer. answer. You're not interested. I'm literally answering. I'm no, waiting for an answer. you're not interested. I was giving so you're the saying answer. I'm not interested. I'm just waiting for an answer. But why did you interrupt me in the middle of the answer? Can you, can you so I'm telling you. So I'm telling you. Not every scholar will accept every hadith that Sahih as Sahih. So for you to say, oh, do you accept all of the Sahih hadith? Some hadith will be characterized as Sahih, but other scholars won't accept it as Sahih. What scholars do you believe in? What scholars? What Akida do you affirm? Do, that's got nothing to do with Akida. Whether you accept the hadith well, no, Sahih or not. Is this is are you frankly, frankly, are you Sufi? Why are you? Frankly, I'm speaking to somebody who can't tell well, the difference. you don't even know the difference between hadith. Hanbali What's and Sufi. What's the difference between fiqh and hadith gradations? Well, 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 schools of teaching or schools of fiqh are gradations of half a uh, tafsir and hadith. Pathetic. Okay. Yeah, how long Dura have you been speaking to speakers' corner? Dura Salam how is a hadith grader. Am I lying? Corner? Am I lying? How long is, have you is Dura Salam is, is, is Dura Salam a hadith grader? Yes or no? Yes or no? So you, you don't want to answer the question. First, learn the doesn't want to answer the question. And hadith, okay. And then are you going to do the point? Are you going to do the point? If you can tell me the are difference. You the if you can learn the so difference. So you said you're going to speak to me about doctrine. I asked a question. You ran away from you're me. You're asking me questions. I asked you a question you're about. You don't even know what you're talking about. You're asking me questions. I asked you to accept Sahih Hadith. I didn't ask you about the background of Hadith. I didn't care about that. I asked you about Sahih Hadith. You didn't even answer it. So because you don't want to answer it, that's fine. You don't understand Do you want to deal with Trinitarian dogma? You don't understand that. Do you want to deal with Trinitarian dogmas? How can I deal with Trinitarian dogmas when you're coming with... So you're too scared to talk about it, that's fine. Yeah, you don't want to talk about it? You don't want to talk about it? You brought it up. You brought it up. And then you asked me a question. Well, let's talk about Trinitarian dogmatics like you brought up. Let's talk about Trinitarian dogmatics. You told me, look, Let's do that. Why are you scared all of a sudden? Why are you running? Why are you running? Don't want to point. Let's talk about Trinitarian dogmatics. I'm trying to respond to you. Okay. 
So I asked the question you asked earlier about Trinitarian no, dogmatics. I ask you whatever I want. So you're just going to ask me anything? Yes. Well, you're really scared. You're really scared. You're really scared. So, so I have to See, Sean, you're shivering so in your boots to, right so now. You might want to calm down. I have to ask you. You're really scared. What you want me to ask you? <laughs> <laughs> is this is this first time we're having a conversation? Oh, man. Shivering you are in my scared. boots. You're shivering you, your boots. Question. You're scared, boy. Look at you. You're scared, little boy. Oh, Look at you. No, I went to my own job. Listen, listen. Oh, what I'm trying to tell you. That's only sauce. Hey, yo, my man. My man. Hey, yo, that's only sauce. Hey, hey, why does your man want to stop me? Why does your man want to stop me? Why is your man wants to spank me? Your man wants to spank me. Why is he gay? I thought he was to be gay. I thought he was around to be gay. Your man was gay. He wants to spank me. You're cringe. You're cringe. You're cringe. You're a goof tod. You're a joker. You're a goof tod. You're a goof tod. You're a little goof tod. Persona. Why are you cringe? Why are you? That's a joke. That's what you're. That's what you're. One of your dumb guys does. Defend your husband. Muhammad Jab does this. William Lane Craig compared Trinity to a three-headed dog. In your head. And? What the hell is this? And? You're a joker. And? You're a clown. Who said I was William Lane Craig, though? You know hold on, hold on, hold on. See, Shan, who said that I was William Lane Craig? Did I say I was William Lane Craig? Did I say that? You guys have Did I say I was William Lane Craig? Are you going to run? Are you going to run? Are you going to run? You mentioned William Lane Craig once you're around for your life. You're dead. Look at me. We don't have to compete with this guy. He's nothing. Yeah, he's nothing. I know he's nothing. Even when they're trying to be ironic. Embarrassment Even to your own being, to be clever, go back to small to Jahannam, right. which left right. those wicked people on the channel. How many level. followers That's do you have? Did. How many followers do you have? He's talking about spanking me. Yeah, I mean, you're a bit kinky, my guy. You're a bit kinky, my guy. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I don't do that kinky stuff. I'm straight. I got a wife. I don't know about you, bro. Who's your wife? Amy. Because they look like absolute fools. Amy, your wife. Trust me. Let yeah. him say. Actually, just, no, 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 no. He doesn't want to talk about your wife. dogmatics. Yeah, yeah, hold on, hold on. Can you say right. That's none of your business. What do you oh. want to know about the wife? What then do you why want? Why are you telling me you're married? Your wife. Give me your wife's number. Why are you telling me you're married then? Give me your wife's number. Give me, huh? Exactly. Is this what you want to tell me your wife's number? Is this what your Bible teaches you? Is this what your Quran teaches you? If I live my Quran teaching, I can take sex slaves. My Quran says I can take sex slaves. Your Quran says I can take sex slaves. Chapter 4, verse 24. Oh. Okay, like so what's you're my wife ever to do with you, bro? You're a clown. You're a clown. Let you run for his life. Wait, wait. Yeah. The president said he's better than us, and on the day of judgment, he's going to be better than us. Yes, you're finished, boy. You're finished, boy. On the day of judgment, he's going to... They're trying to... It's not illegal. I'm back to you, honestly. Oh, it's not illegal to take sex slaves. Right. It's, it's literally rape. rape. But they don't want to answer the rape in their Quran and their Hadith because they have a demonic doctrine of they devils. Don't. Why would you have he sex with a nine year old girl? Would you be okay with having sex with a nine year old girl? He's running away. When we debate, would you be okay with having sex with a nine year old girl? They jump. Oh, sex with Why is he running? I literally asked him one question. Would you be okay with having sex with a nine year old girl? I asked him about first time you'll chat He's so holy and righteous, and he's so tough as well. He's so tough, man. Look at his tough guy, bro. Allah predestines everything, so Allah predestines the rape and killing of those in Palestine. I want to talk about it right now. I want to talk about it right now. Let's talk about Al-Qaeda. Let's talk about Al-Qaeda. Why is he running? Why is he running? Let's talk about Allah predestining rape of children in Palestine. Allah predestined Palestine. Allah predestined Palestine. Let's talk about that. Allah predestined rape in Palestine. That's what Allah predestined. Allah predestined murder in Palestine. Allah predestined murder in Palestine. I've got a better personality than you. And Muhammad Ajab. Muhammad Ajab is a joke. So are you. I need all your grapes, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, what the hell is the press story? Go back home. Go back home. Yeah. You shouldn't have. Where did I go? You're not even the bank. So, Jishan, do you want to actually debate me on this topic? When did I say? In front of everybody. Bro, I want to run to. When did I say? This guy. When did I say? I'm not debating you. He was running away from me. So, Jishan, would you be okay with the fact that your prophet said it was okay? 
okay oh, to murder innocent back. Jews. Come back. Your prophets no, murdered no, innocent no, Jews, Zisha. Like so would you, like would you be okay with that? Would you be also okay with the rape? The boy of rape that your prophet instituted. Would you be okay with that? No, because this guy's okay with that. They're running to Amy. They're scared. They're scared. They're scared. She needed you to back her up. She didn't need anything. She needed you to back her up. I came back. You need him to back you up. I want to talk to you about your child. You're scared. I want to talk to you about your child. You're scared. Stop projecting on me. Hello. 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 You're Hello. literally Hello. Talking, Hello. talking about asking for my wife's number. You ask for my wife's name. You ask for my wife's name. You ask for my name. Exactly. Yeah. So don't tell me nothing. Number. You don't need to have my wife's name. How stupid are you? You're a clown. Yeah. How stupid are you? Yeah. Name You're the wife's, wife's number. Oh. You see, they can't answer any of the questions. You think the wife's name is equated with the wife's number? They can't answer the questions. They can't answer the questions. Yes, yes, hello. Which man, ladies and gentlemen, ask one question. Would you have sex with a nine-year-old girl? They don't want to answer it. They did not want to answer it. Sex with nine-year-olds is okay in Islam. Sex with nine-year-olds is okay in Islam. Sex with nine-year-olds is okay in Islam. And they're fine with it. They're fine with it. Hello. Can we? Do not allow sex with nine-year-old girls. They're not going to. They're not going to listen. They're not going to listen. They're not going to go around. They're not going to listen. Look how angry he is. He's getting angry. He's getting angry. He's getting angry. Angry for having to get Look at him. He's getting angry. Get angry. Get angry. Get angry. Look at you. You're so angry. Look at you. Oh, how nice to see you. You're so angry. You're so angry. You're so angry. Look at you. Look at him. You're pushing for him. You're pushing for him. Look at 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 him. Or you guys why are you, why are you talking to women? Why are you talking to women? Why do you want to aim me back? Why do you want to aim me back? Oh, I'm talking to you. Why do you want to aim me back? One second. Or shame the head of the women. Yeah, women can't talk in Islam. Where's the women? Where's the women in Islam? Bring the women in Islam. Where's the women in Islam? Bring them. Get in the queue. I want to talk about how tough he is. I want to talk about how I want to talk about how I want to talk about how your prophet bought in a nine year old girl. I want to talk about your prophet bought in a nine year old. He has sex with a nine year old. Smashed by who? Smashed by your prophet. Smashed a nine year old. Your prophet smashed a nine year old. That's what your prophet did. Yeah, that's what you believe in, bro. You're scared. You don't even like Sayyid Bukhari. You don't even like Sayyid Bukhari. You don't even like Sayyid Bukhari. You're scared. You let your eyes go. Well, let's have a conversation. Let's have a polite conversation. Let's have a polite conversation. Can you hear me? Let's have a polite conversation. Let's have a polite conversation. Let's have a time conversation. Can we have a time conversation? Can you ask it for me? Okay. Are you scared to have a polite conversation? Are you scared to have a polite conversation? Are you scared? Yeah, I do. No, I'll give you a time. You a I'll give you five minutes. I you I'll time. give you five minutes. You You're scared, that's why. You're scared, that's why. You see the fear on our eyes. You're scared. You don't want to do it. I'll give you five minutes to talk. Wow, really? I don't care how unknown my channel is. It's dead. Really? 223,000 subscribers is dead. Hey, that's wild. That's wild. That's wild. You can't defend Muhammad was a pedophile. You can't defend that. Are you okay with that? Are you okay with that? You have nothing either. You have nothing. 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 Look at you. You need a bodyguard. Jesus is Lord. 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 Jesus is Lord.
Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Amen. Jesus is Lord. Look, you need a bodyguard to protect you. Christian, you need a boyfriend to protect you. What's going on, bro? Why are you scared? Why are you walking? Why are you walking? Let's have a conversation. I said we have a time conversation. You're running for your life because you can't defend Muhammad's child marriage. You cannot defend it, so you're running. What is with the fear of you cowards? The Bible says the wicked flee when no man pursues, but the righteous is as bold as a lion. You're a fool. You're literally running from the nine-year-old. You're running from the nine-year-old you had sex with. You're running from the nine-year-old. Why is this jolting? Why is this jolting? Who's scared? I think you are. No, the fact is, nobody's scared. Come here. Nobody's scared at all. Come here. But they just want to instigate violence. Because that's what they do. When Muslims lose the debate, they instigate violence and shout Alu Akbar. That's literally how they've done it since Muhammad was here. When, when Christians win a debate, we use exegesis and we use facts and logic. If, if anyone, That's what goes down. If anyone down. sees that Muslim again, please challenge him because he said he's so tough. He said he was pretty much Goliath by the way he was talking. <laughs> so I want him to oh, prove, how, I want to see how tough he is, you know, the lion of Islam. I want to see it. I want to see these lions of Islam because I haven't seen them where's, yet. Where's the lions of Islam keep running from me for their life. They didn't want to have a time debate. You see, ladies and gentlemen, I've got the mic here and everybody's going to see it. Everybody watching will see that I asked Zishan for a no, time come, debate. Come around the corner, I'll show you how <laughs> I am. Yeah. I'll show you Islam, man. This is Islam right here. You know, this is not Islam. This is hard to get to Islam. But this Islam, like tough, yes, I'm big. Yeah. It's just insane. It's just insane. The fact is Muslims have to run to violence as an answer for their profit mounting a nine-year-old. Let's get this question going. That's what I want to talk about. You're not tough. I know tough guys. Tough guys don't say, look at me, I'm so tough. You see, the raping of Aisha was something I wanted to speak about. I wasn't even going to insult. I said to Zishan five minutes, timed Habibi, timed. He ran for his life. The tough guy over there, big man over there. And we got other big man over there. How many big man we got over there? <laughs> many big man over there. I'm scared. I'm scared of all the big man over there. I'm scared, I'm shaking. Huh? I'm going to the gym, don't worry, bro. Don't worry yourself. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. I don't want to look good for you, but I want to look, I want to look good for my wife. I need to go. I need to go now. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yep. Follower of Jesus Christ. Amen. So, yeah, any questions before I leave? That was eventful. I knew Zijam was going to run from me anyway. But it's like the one question I wanted to ask was about the age of Aisha. Look, all of this topic of Trinitarian dogmatics, which by the way I was going to answer anyway, right, he still asked me on my Trinitarian. I said, right, well, I'm not going to answer that. Let's answer first what I've asked you. Do you accept Sahih Hadith? And he said, oh, there's many different scholars. That wasn't a question I asked you. That is an obfuscation of what I said. You know what I mean? An obfuscation of what I said. You see, they have to run for their lives because Islam was built on a house of cards and the house of cards is tripped when a man has knowledge and asks a simple question can you marry a nine-year-old girl the other question I was going to ask is about the doctrine of al Qaeda. according to Hadith and according to the Quran itself oh yeah yeah of course of course of course um, I think I can mod it from here yeah 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 yeah, too far gone, you're a moderator. There's a good laugh. I lost my voice speaking to Mohammed because I don't listen. Do you know <laughs> no, I just, <laughs> I just literally speak to whatever. <laughs> it's so mud. You can't defend marrying a, nine, marrying a six year old Look, girl. All I wanted to talk about was marrying a six year old. I don't know why it's so hard. I don't want to talk about Trinitarian dogmatics. They come here every week. 
Oh, do you believe in the Trinity? I don't care about that, man. Let's talk about Mohammed's marriage to Aisha. Mohammed's marriage to Aisha is a great topic. Yes, that was his wife. Aisha was his wife. You should respect Aisha. They don't want to talk about it. I don't respect Aisha. That you've got to divorce your wife. Anyway, we're going to close now. So thank you for joining. Um, I have to go now. So God bless you. Uh, John will be doing a live stream later. Okay. God bless you. Take care.